Oh boy. Hi, chat. Oh, hopefully the music's not too loud. It's just me for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm also battling a bit of a bug at the moment. Um, but yeah, so just a, a, a quick thanks uh, for everyone just because uh, the only reason that South is happening is because of our generous donors and also just people that subscribe to the channel and all sorts of uh, things of the sort. So thank you, thank you for making it happen. Um, and it's just going to be me. Uh, this might change as we start to stream more sessions, strictly because then we might be able to kind of calculate people's availability. And also, you don't know who all the players are yet. So it'd be big spoilers if they were here already. Oh boy, oh boy. Black and Fox, thank you so much for your subscribing for 33 months. Holy cannoli. Very, very nice. <laughs> Damn, Will got the sick lance disease. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. It was like Saturday I started feeling the, the cruds. It's nothing too bad though, so it shouldn't be awful or anything of the sort um but yeah so the broad stroke sales pitch in case uh folks don't know what this is all about is um first off big spoilers for ebon ward main campaign if you have not hit at least episode 109 i realize that is balls <laughs> deep into the series um if those sorts of spoilers don't bother you then feel free to pop on in because everything else that's happening um, does not impact uh, uh, directly into the main story yet. Um, also, uh, I am a player in this and I am playing as Barrett Brushfire. Um, and this is being GM'd by Christian, who you guys know on this channel, uh, helped with Hellmouth a while ago, but uh, also played Josen in Evan Ward West, and on Stabbiness, he's currently running No Home in Twilight, which is this very, very cool Lancer game. Um, very emotional, very heavy stuff, very intense, but very, very cool every Friday on Stabbiness. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think of anything else to give you a heads up on. Oh, we are playing in 5th edition. Uh, the reason being is that when Christian first presented the idea of running a uh, uh, Evan Ward South, he was like, I'm going to be real with you. I don't know how to run a Pathfinder game. And I was like, that's fair. And I don't think it's reasonable to ask you to learn uh, how to run a Pathfinder game um, just to run this side thing. So he's more comfortable with 5e, so we're doing uh, 5e. With that being said, I will tell you right now, we absolutely play this wrong occasionally. Um, you will even notice a couple of times that I straight up read an ability wrong or someone else re reads an ability wrong. That just happens. Whoopsie poopsie. All that jazz. Um, yeah. 5e Artificer is good. That's what Barrett is. Uh, so I can also tell you this. Barrett is playing an Artificer. Um, however, we have homebrewed him in a way where uh, as the, what is it? It's like the Cannoneer. Um, all of his stuff is uh, non-magic. So if it's a spell that I can't explain why it's non-magical, I can't use it. So for example, if I say I want to use Fireball, I can be like, yo, it's a Molotov cocktail. He just throws it, boom, no problem. Or um, yeah, there's a couple other silly ones that you'll, you'll see. Ar Artillerist, thank you. Um, yeah, so that's, that's how that be doing. Um, this is also a slightly shorter session. It's about two and a half hours. Um, and at the end of the session, I will pop back in. And if there's any fan art or anything of the sort, I will go through that and we can look at it all together and, you know, all that cool jazz. So, um, let's see here. I give it a couple more minutes oh my god my dumb ass forgot to hit the the ats holy cannoli what am i doing luckily we haven't started just yet yeah i knew i was forgetting something i got all these buttons and then i was in stream remote there we go all right we'll get we'll get better at this as we we start to stream so i'll give it another couple of minutes to let people jump on in 
gone. Yeah, no, I I think you guys are going to like this. Um, oh, Stink Pilot, thank you for 63 months. Very much appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think you guys are going to like this because Christian GMs very differently from me, which helps make the sick lands feel alien and exotic, which is exactly what it needs to be. Because um, at this point, you guys kind of know my shtick, how I do horror and whatnot. But Christian... He goes in a completely different direction, and there is, there's some shit that, that'll happen later on that sideswiped us that we were not prepared for. Uh, what level is everyone? Oh yeah, uh, everyone starts at level eight, and uh, we do actually level up in this like side campaign. It's, it's very intriguing. The, the best way that we've been describing this um, is we have been calling this some real ass bona fide motherfucking Dungeons and Dragons. Like, we're, we're, we're using all the skills, man. Like, we use survival, fucking use animal handling. Like, it's, yeah, no, we, we use a little bit of everything. So, but yeah. How many episodes are in this campaign? Um, <laughs> it's, uh, longer than north which was nine uh to put in perspective at this point in time we have recorded 14 sessions and we're not done <laughs> so take that for what you will um but yeah no um i've been kind of uh faffing about for a good seven or so minutes uh and with that I will start Ebon Ward South. Again, thank you all so very much. You are the reason that we can, we can even do this sort of a thing. So I will see you on the other side. Hi, folks. Hello, everyone. Oh, boy. It's a long time coming. We've been very excited about this. Thank you. Yeah, but I... even before we start, thank you, Christian, very much for putting this together. Yeah. I'm very excited to see what you've done. I'm, I'm very excited to show it off. I think it's going to be very interesting. Um, I have no idea when people will be seeing this, but you're seeing it now. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. And uh, I think, really, I want to get right into it, because God, have I been patient. But I, I, I need, I need, I have a need. Um, but before that, let's let's run down and introduce everyone we have here. Okay. So well, I guess I'll go first. Uh, hi, I'm William. I'm usually the GM for Eben Ward. Not this time, and for a little bit. And I will be playing as Barrett Brushfire, who you guys should be familiar with if you've watched the show. He's just a grumpy older fellow that loves guns and hates magic. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll start us off next, where um, I am a Christian. I've run a bunch of shows on stabbiness, and also I was a player in Eben Ward West where I play good old Jason. And uh, that was a lot of fun, and talked with Will and decided I'd love to do a spin-off Ebon Ward thing. So with Neat. Patreon money help from the Surprise Round Patreon, I got commission, and I've got a game here, which will be pretty fun to see. I won't spoil too much. We'll see what happens. Hi, I'm Austin. Uh, I run Valor Punk over on Surprise Round. Uh, I also played in most of the Ebon Ward spinoffs, and so this one is no exception. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to be reprising my role as uh, Carthy and Lurie. Uh, we're to see what, what the boy's been up to since And Ooh, that... that is... Yeah, yeah, you go. We got the other two players uh, that'll be <laughs> playing for South that were not announced at start we got first off, Angra. Yeah, uh, I suppose you have been spoiled already by the player thing in the in the, <laughs> in yeah. the bottom left. But Earnestly, nope, yeah. they can't see yet. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Angra. Uh, you may know me from Carbon Interface, and if you're one of the OGs, DCC, where I play the Elven oh, Sage. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm here playing Lazarus, the Abomination. Yeah, that's a good that's a that's a good way to describe him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What class is our abomination? Or well, actually, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's good. We'll let them we'll let them see more, I guess, after that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next up, it's me, your boy, the G boy. It's Brennan. Oh, boy. Hello, everyone. It's good to be here. 
Um, I, I'm, I'm on things. If you don't know, I'm not telling you. And I'm not <laughs> telling you what I'm playing today either. So, I don't know. Wow. Still yeah, I'm, I'm being mysterious and aloof. I'm, I'm, I'm playing in this game, or I'm Yeah, I'm playing in this game. That's all you get to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brennan, and chat. I'm not playing in this game. Disconnect from Call yeah. of Duty. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'm not playing in this game. Yeah, we, can, we have no proof of that. Can you, you imagine if, like, we started playing and seven sessions in, Brennan showed up every time and just never played? Never said a word. <laughs> It would be yeah. the, the opposite of what I did in Carbon Interface. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show up for a one off cameo. Never mind. <laughs> God. I guess we're at a party now. All right. All oh, right. Oh, boy. I guess I'll remove the cover so, title. Yes, we will. Now then, allow me to read us in. Mm hmm. All is buried by water of the swamps. As inexorable as time itself, the stinking marshlands brought humility and acceptance to the people of the South. And as of 70 years ago, time has ceased its normal flow. The lands grow with the speed of a century, yet the people's time has come to a stop. With this new era, great legends tip the scales between stagnation and growth. Legends like... Kozilski the Large, Champion of the People. Rairn Kajor, Head Marshal of Lobero. Baba Yaga, Grandmother of the Woods. The Wretched Vaskala. The Four Heavenly Hussars. And one more, whose fate and legend has been lost to the still time. And yet, this land is more than legends. For a land once so devoted to its history, none of these legendary names spread one inch beyond the sick lands. Not anymore. To say this land has been forgotten to history and the world itself would be all but true. Yet one thing beats at the heart of the sick lands, a heartbeat that has long since predated the legends and grandeur of long forgotten kingdoms, the beat of hope. And it still resounds in the chests of those not graced by the annals of history. In the end, it shall come down to the unsung heroes to save hope from this land. Deep in the sick lands, past the dividing river from Taboo, into an area that has long been cut off from the rest of the world. Barrett, you, you're waking up. As you begin to wake up, you start to feel rain hitting you. And following that rain, a movement. Yet your limbs don't move at all. And with a quick motion, you feel yourself slammed down against the ground. Harsh, heavy, a weight as your back is almost pressed hard. And you look up. And something is standing right above you. A shadow that's hard to make out between the rain slamming against your mask and the beast hanging above. Uh, Barrett, yeah. uh, you're a bit banged up right now. Um, Good. <clears throat> would you like to do anything? <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, quick question first. I have a game pause thing at the bottom. Yes. And that's cool. going. It's Excellent. going. Uh, I think what Barrett will do is... Boy, he's all alone right now, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Uh, I think what Barrett will do is he is... Oh, actually, I might have a spell for this. Or not a spell, uh, but some other fun baloney to get me out of this. Hmm. No, I don't have that equipped, actually. Okay, uh, Barrett's going to do the classic. He's just going to pull out his 
uh, shotgun, and he's going to fire twice, uh, hoping to aim for kind of the joint of this creature in its arm, hoping that... All right. Might, yeah. Give it a shot. All right. Here, Barrett I don't goes. know if you were supposed to be seeing anything, but... We can't I, see um, anything. We can't okay. see anything. Okay, I'll make sure to fix it up real fast. I'll close that. Ooh. Uh, oh, the well. shotgun? <laughs> the shotgun. Well. No. Hey, that's pretty good. And he will attack twice. Oh, nice. That's even better. Yeah, nice. Okay. Damage. <laughs> so, Barrett does, uh, hopefully, uh, 34 damage. <clears throat> okay. Um, in that case, let me take a moment. I'm going to fix everyone's vision really fast. Yeah. And then we're good to go. I think if they just have, like, permission to see me, they'll be good to go. Yeah. I just need uh, to see if you're Barrett eyes. Here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hey Barrett. So, you fire two shots off, and as you do, there's a splatter of a green ichor that almost falls down, and almost immediately in response to the fire, something seems to almost splatter out and away as barely whizzing over you and then eventually hitting you, you almost get just pelted by this acidic, painful, awful stench. And uh, let me just roll something really quick for you. Oh, good. As uh, this creature starts spewing an acidicness on top of your body that starts seeping into your clothes. I want you to make me a constitution saving throw. You got it. Uh, let's see here. Constitution saving throw. Normal. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, with that, you manage to blast at this thing as it almost seems to recoil slightly. Falling back as you successfully manage to almost roll to the side as almost scattering, it seems to move away. And <sighs> you're left almost there as it almost seems to withdraw. You hear other sounds. It seems to be shifting away and it almost vanishes as you're left there for a moment. And you find yourself staring up at the sky for a moment. And you feel, luckily you dodge that acid hit, but you feel the other wounds almost coming out of nowhere a painful smashing against your body. You take ragged breaths into your gas mask, heaving. And then as you lie there trying to get sorts of yourself, you noticed something standing above you. Something seems to look down at you almost curiously. Oh, where is this at? Right above you. Oh. oh. Uh, a Bar figure... Yeah. Barrett immediately just steps back and... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, let me delete that. Eh. Uh, Barrett just immediately takes a step back, trying to reload. There we go. Now it should work. You take a step back. The stranger almost seems to turn their head looking at you with a curiosity in their eyes. Not really doing much of anything at first. And then you feel something kind of pulse in your head as you stare, and a form almost seems to shift, and you hear something almost reverberate in the woods. It's hard to say. This is not talking to you but you also hear words all the same, almost like they come from your very consciousness, from your inner mind. Are you hurt? Do you need help? Not from you, whoever the hell you are. Come on, I was just asking, you don't need to be so mean. 
I know. I think I can help you after all. That is, if you really care to know. I could tell you so many things, if you wanna, but, hmm. The hand seems to tap up to the chin, and you almost seem to... You seem to be, as you're kind of recovering, standing up, still wounded, just as wounded, but manning to stand. They kind of consider... What is it that you want, though? It'd be very rude of me to not give you something you want, right? Barrett just finishes loading the shotgun. <sighs> he already gave me what I wanted. Chance to reload. Barrett just aims down. I don't care that you look like a kid for a moment. You don't look like it now. <laughs> Are you going to fire? Yeah, I think Barrett's the sort that would yeah. just pull the trigger. <laughs> All right, you don't need to roll. You pull the trigger, and as you fire, it almost seems like just gone. Almost disappearing in the muzzle flash. You take a single shot, and then with that, gone again. <sighs> and you hear something from behind, almost emerging out. Uh, Carthian, you show up down here and kind of holding on like loose luggage, very light, a Undine kind of pops off the back, moving, kind of shaking as she goes and she sees, oh, there he is. Come on. Come on. I heard a gunshot. Only one? Jeez, open your fucking ears. <laughs> well, I stopped counting after the first. The one is the one that matters. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, yes, I guess. <gasps> Something came on me. Clawed me up real good, and, uh... As you can see... Hang on. Hmm? Hang on. Uh, she kind of approaches. <laughs> Looks like she's gonna cast magic on you. Hey, 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 hey. I don't like that shit. <sighs> it's right, right. Sorry, I forgot. You know, you're just bleeding. She kind of puts her hands to her head. Hang on, you, you take these, right? She pulls out a potion. Yep, all natural. All right, you take the potion. And uh, how does Barrett drink a potion? Uh, Barrett oh. has designed his mask in a very particular way because he doesn't want any time if possible to remove his mask, especially out here. Uh, on the side where one of the ventilators is, um, there's also a thing where you twist it and a small needle pokes outward. He slams the bottle into the side of it where the cork is and then kind of tilts his head and just kind of uh, inhales it in. <sighs> That's good, Shin. Thank you. She kind of just nods her head. We've got to go. Yeah. I think. Where is it? Uh, which one? What the? She kind of looks. The, the big one? There, there's another one? How many are there? Uh, I think just the two. Though, definitely be careful. <gasps> the big one, yeah, dangerous. The other one can talk, and worse yet, <clears throat> can change its shape. Fantastic. I I don't know, it's like some inky thing. Never seen it before. And it asked me if I wanted help. So, um, probably maybe a Fae thing? No idea, but don't talk to it. Just shoot it. Kind of like nods and like, right. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I think, uh, where are they? Carthian, you know the way back to the, um, to where the group is. Mm -hmm. So, Carthian... You take the reins again as both you, Lepescu, Barrett, and finally Tani end up all leaving off. Try to regroup as quick as possible. We try to make some good out of this awful, terrible day. This sucks. <laughs> and <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, today was 
always sort of a bad day. This certainly takes the cake. You all begin moving out. But even from the very start, uh, the it all started after a bit of simple travel. Once you showed up in that goddamn town. And let me just move us over really quick. Nice. Ooh. Pop over. Man, I love Should have started loading these. for everyone. Yeah. The, the Fast the, for you, unfortunately. A little less fast for everyone else, but yeah. It's weird. The the half of the map where our icons are on is still gray. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. There's loading screens. It's a video game. It's a video yeah. game. Here. Yeah, I need yeah. to get some loading screen music. <laughs> we, 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 have, we have MMO hot bars. We have MMO loading times. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You're going to get backed out because the queue is too long. Queue <laughs> 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 for who? <laughs> Look, play this, your this T-Sling really wanted to play. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Barry. So it's just going to step yeah. forward. Mm. Oh, at least there's something somewhat structurally uh, decent. Steps on the wood, splinters it. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You take a step in. This is the witch town, to put it lightly. And it's not like you have much against witches. In fact, the witches themselves have been quite a helpful organization in terms of the Ebon Ward. Not because you're allies or anything, but more just because people being able to look the other way and not really care much about the affairs of other That works well for a secretive organization like Evan Ward. However, the part that really gets you is how much these people love their magic. Yep. <clears throat> probably the highest quantity of spellcasters you could probably find in the continent. And this is how they live. Yep. <laughs> what? You think someone's going to try and kick him out? <gasps> Such beautiful real estate. Fucking Ugh. bullshit. Fucking bullshit. I hate this goddamn nonsense. A man sort of walks on. Uh, this. A member of your expedition. You've gathered as many loose hands and unworthy people as possible that were just sitting around the central of Ebonward. This one, Baird the Blaggard has not stopped complaining ever since he started getting on the trip. And he only seems to ramp it up the closer and closer you all get to the sick lands. Why is it so fucking foggy? Is that their fault? What's going on? No, it's, al it's always like that. Just be thankful it's not a sick storm. I think yeah. it's called a swamp. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know it's a fucking swamp. God damn. He kind of steps up, kind of cancels out, and uh, trailing behind, uh, two more figures walk on. One you now know as Tani, the Lissa's devotee, and the other, Abiodun, hunter of beasts. Both take up the end of the caravan, moving together as they almost kind of seem to step. Tani kind of speaks up. Why don't you just keep your mouth shut? Then they won't hex you. Sounds good, huh? That is actually an important note for everyone Tani brings up here. The witches are very, uh hospitable but if you don't show the same courtesy you're gonna get cursed so mind your manners pleases and thank yous everyone starts kind of moving up together at that point you start heading to this town and you notice a number of glances looking your way it seems to be a first glance some people look longer most people end up looking at you and kind of turning away and minding their own business yeah Barrett just, similarly yeah Barrett just like turns away from everyone he doesn't even wave unless he gets like a stink eye and he's like oh hey <laughs> just to make sure <laughs> yeah so if you're correct your contact was supposed to meet you by the docks at which point you would organize a few small boats to scale over the river that river is a temporary stopgap between the sick lands and taboo it's already started to fall over to some degree Though the protections of Taboo has kept this place about the safest place to board onto the water from. Oh boy. Yeah, rivers will be real fun. 
Uh, contact, um... Kind of snaps his fingers a couple times. Eleanor, I think, right? Sounds correct. Oh, God. Uh... Where the fuck are the docks when everything's a dock? This woman almost seems to turn her head, like, slowly, about 70 degrees from her front as she kind of looks. Oh, that way. She sort of, um, points off down in this direction. Hmm. Oh, uh, Barrett takes his hat off and just tips it. Thank you. She nods. And then, uh, Barrett kind of moves on silently and then kind of moves up to the bunch and is like, See how her fed head fucking turned like 70 degrees? That's crazy. What the hell? She doesn't even move her body. Yeah. Fucking freaky. No, I thought that was an amazing character trait. And I think she's, <laughs> a, I think she's a unique, wonderful person. Oh, Just, yeah, yeah. Fucking great. I love freaks. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, on the positive side, none of us are going to get hexed. Or at least one of us. Ba Baird, I would thank you not to use that language in front of me again. <laughs> he kind of stops. He turns. Uh, right. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. No. You sure? Just, just, again, just mind your pleases and thank yous and whatnot. Like, seriously, I can't stress this enough. Bear just fully turns around. The witches are being nice. They let people in, they let people go, but you stir up trouble, they are gonna hex you. And not just one. Witches talk. You kind of... He kind of thinks about that, and he kind of nods his head a bit, and you're sure he remains silent without really having learned an entire thing. Mm. And with that in mind, that's why I preload. <laughs> that's why you preload. That's why I preload. Okay, okay, I, preload, I know. Preload, baby! That's why you preload! Also, so, I figure, is there a way to make it so that whenever I, I whoop, move... Uh, oops, sorry. Whoop, no worries. Uh, anytime I move Barrett... Um, he doesn't have like a little green box and a tracker on him. I'm trying to figure out how to make that not the case. Yeah. Uh, are you, you still on the other map? Arrow, by the way, because I uh, uh, think I accidentally moved you over. I'm in the void. No. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. that's fine. Because I accidentally activated and had to move you back. But uh... oh. I am 98% into the taboo dark void. <laughs> yeah. So let me uh, pop over there as well. Yeah. If I could get Are you still ping. stuck loading? I'm loading. I'm loading in Swamp Two and Taboo Dock. Oh, okay. Um, we should be on Taboo Dock. I accidentally fucked it up and tried to load two things at once. <laughs> Here, yeah, I'll just, I'll just refresh just, the page. Yeah, let me try that. <clears throat> no, it deal. is worth yeah. noting. It is worth noting that yeah, we are experimenting with this software oh, for yes, the first I time. I should so. say, <laughs> first time using Foundry. A lot of little quirks I'm getting used to. It's oh, such yeah. a good program. If I if I don't break anything. <laughs> Bro, don't worry about it. This is already awesome. Um, but yeah, no. Barrett's just going to keep on scooting. And yeah, I was trying to figure out how to remove the um, measure distance with difficult terrain. That's all that does. Okay. I don't know how to turn that off. That's fine. Um, Barrett's just going to like kind of look around. See, there's a lot less people here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. No one for Baird to offend. <laughs> um, mm. uh, Carthian. Yeah. Yes. I just realized, where's your dog? Carthian. Lucas, okay, who yeah. has agreed yeah. to sit out of town uh, so as not to scare the locals. Oh. <laughs> what a good boy. He is. <laughs> uh, let's see. Barrett once again uh, looks around. Brennan, you might want to refresh. I'd say Angry, yeah. Yeah, I refresh. I just did a refresh. That fixes it. <clears throat> uh huh. Because I think Brennan's stuck on Swamp too. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we're all here. We're all here. Hey! Everything's great. Woo! Um. So, you all begin stepping up, and you kind of see a branch off deeper into the docks as you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably just over here, I guess. Um. <laughs> Gonna... I think if you, um, I think pressing the right trigger when you, uh, move will make it not appear. Pressing the right trigger. Like, you pre you select right. the issue, and when you drag, you, you press mean, right. You mean the right mouse, mouse, right mouse, mouse button. button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, we're playing with, aren't we playing with Xbox controllers? 
Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Let me plug yeah, mine no. on real quick. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, that's, that's just a but... yeah, that's just a setting I'd have to uh, turn off myself, or you'd have to turn off later. But that's fine. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, Eleanor, oh, you yell off, and uh, you notice a head turn up ahead, as almost clearing the fog. Um, you notice almost sitting ahead. There's a satyr woman, not too tall, um, as she almost kind of turns her head. A um, she she looks at you and she's like, "Oh, um, are you uh, are you Barrett?" Yeah, Barrett Brushfire, uh, excellent, Eleanor. Excellent. Right? Yes, yes, I'm Eleanor. Uh, she kind of moves over and gives you a big handshake. Uh, yeah. Uh, re like kind of wipes his glove on his jacket a couple times just to make sure it's not too nah. messy. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. You get used to it. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Fair enough then. Well, pleasure. When you're here for two years. It's it starts to stack up. Oh yeah. She kind of um uh ends up. Yeah. She just kind of uh. Anyways, uh, great timing. I've got everyone in here so far. Um, to everyone. to be fair, I. Yeah, the uh, the rest of the expedition, all the people we could gather that were left in from south before, um, you know. Right. Yeah. She kind of stops. Um. I. She kind of. Well, two of them don't know that happened. Honestly, oh, I was shit, so really? out of it. I only really realized what was going on when I got your letter. Um, I don't know. If, you want to be the bearer of bad news, but... Yeah, I could be the bearer been... of bad news. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh, you might want to re-explain the briefing. Um, this has all been pretty rushed, but... Right, yeah, no. no to be fair, it's kind of um emergency. Yeah, yeah. Um, she kind of steps on up, and uh, as I go, uh, you notice this building here. Uh, yeah. You kind of peek inside, and as you look inside, you notice that the, uh, let me just go, you notice the building is now, here, let me just actually delete that. Uh, be gone. Be gone, or, or, is that, is that right? I think it was, it was supposed to be, it's open, right? You see it open? Nope. Or, nope. No? Negative. Negative. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think I figured out what was what was going on here. I think I've got that now. Uh, there's a... Oh, that's strange. Oh, wait, that's why it wasn't selected. I'm very oh. silly. I'm very silly. Um, nah, no worries. Yeah, there we go. It should... There we go. Hey, go that's an interior, yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the interior. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of look, and as you step, you almost bump into a man with dead feline eyes and ears, uh, a stare that almost seems to haunt your soul as you're almost looking over, but a face that's friendly enough. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> And Just kind of caught me off guard. On the screen, uh, two or perhaps two and a half individuals uh, look at you from inside. Huh? Oh. To the left. Oh, welcome, everyone. A soft-spoken man named Hoggy um, is sort of standing in the corner as he sort of nods his head. Uh, my name is Hoggy. I was a uh, left into the Riverlands, just doing a little research on the sick lands. And, uh, well, I'm quite surprised. I hope I'll be of any use at all on this expedition. I mean... Everyone kind of cycles in. If you know anything about the sick lands, I'm sure you'll be quite helpful. Yeah, tell us how we get sick and stuff. It'll be great. Mm. Um... Oh, that is you... quite easy. Just eat anything. Which means oh. you shouldn't eat anything out here. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of eating leaves anyway, so should be fine. Oh, um, worry, there's meat too. I just wouldn't eat that either. <laughs> I mean, you could mostly eat mostly insectoid. Yeah. Uh, 
You could eat anything you wanted, Baird. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, you're your own man. <laughs> you're, a big, kinda... you're, you're a big, strong man. Yeah. Now, shut up. He kind of, like, waves his hand, and uh, um, uh, you hear a movement as there's, like, a crunching noise outside as something large seems to poke up. Lazarus, you notice a form coming behind you as it almost seems to lurk down and then popping <laughs> up quietly. <laughs> In the face of another wild animal. <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus stares Lupescu straight in the eyes for a Lupes solid five seconds. Lupescu is a bit surprised to find animalistic intent here and almost kind of backs up a little bit and then kind of appraises you in about 10, 15 seconds pass until there's an accord and you kind of calm down. <laughs> there is a nod of mutual respect. <laughs> Lupescu yeah. pokes his head in through the door. It is the doorway now. Oh. Excellent. Oh, cool. So, I guess we should probably get some introductions done. Yeah. Everyone kind of stops and stares at each other kind of quietly. Um, I'm Eleanor. I, I think you all should know me, at least by title. I'm, I'm, a, I'm sort of a confidant for Taboo. I look after things here and make sure that we have our eyes and ears close to the sick lands. And uh, I've gathered you all here because we've had an important mission pop up that I was supposed to wait to inform you until we had an official um, kind of like points over at Barrett uh, guy, official guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, she kind of backs up a bit. Yeah. How about you going uh, clockwise, I guess? I sure. don't know how clock how clocks uh, work. To left of me, left of me last. Okay. My name is Carthian Lurie. I work for Central. Uh, I've been down here once or twice, but not often. Uh, and I could be in Leviara right now, so forgive <laughs> my so forgive my foul mood. <laughs> yeah, that's rough, buddy. He just pats you on the shoulder. <laughs> I'm Barrett Brushfire. Some of you probably already know me since I did work in South before it got all fucked up. Also, if you happen to see 3 imps, let me know. I have no idea where Francis York or Morgan have gone off to. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm kind of running this show, I guess. But just because I'm... He puts up his fingers for quotation marks. Leader doesn't mean I don't want to hear from you. Okay? If you know shit going on down here, I need to know it so that we're all on the same page. <gasps> Got it. Nods. <laughs> Hagi, um, uh, kind of, like, looks to see if it's his turn. Yeah, Barrett just kind of, like, waves an arm and leans against some, some yeah. crates. Uh, I'm Hagi. I'm, um, well, uh, he kind of scratches the back of his head. Um, some of the locals call me the Riverlands Druid, but I'm, I'm not a druid. Um, I know some nature magic, and uh, but mostly I am do clerical work. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing research, and I should have some stuff to maybe share. I have my notes, too, assembled if anyone would like to read them. But yes, I believe I should be of help for whatever we're doing. And I'm quite curious to see what lies in, well, Lobero, if we're going down there. Oh, yeah. That's target numero uno. Kind of nods his head and then kind of takes a seat. And then he turns over to, uh, turns over to your character, Brennan. And this individual is, uh, despite being a part of the circle, is sitting on this box and facing away. She's kind of paying oh. more attention to this little mushroom fella. <laughs> oh. The, do, okay, Brennan, important. Do you yes. want to voice the mushroom? I think you should maybe voice the mushroom. I could voice the mushroom, but I think it's an extension of your will. So I assumed he didn't talk. So <laughs> he's got a little mouth. No, he does. He does have a little mouth, it, but that's to eat. I'll let you decide. That's I'll not a mouth. Decide. That's an anus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If if you don't want to, I I'll I'll give it to you. He doesn't need I'll, to talk. I I will decide. Yeah. I'll if if he needs to talk, I will handle it. Okay. The figure uh, kind of looks back and forth. Uh, the little. The little, little uh, entity. But uh, sensing that it's her turn now, she uh, speaks up. I am indistinguishable from the other nine carbon life forms in this building. But judging by my veils, you can call me Cortina. 
I am here to accompany you on your journey to rot. And right. then she returns her attention back to the mushroom. <laughs> Bear just crosses arms. Great. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> yeah. And this is my little brother. His Bear. name is Little Brother. Tilt his head. <laughs> like, legitimately related by fungus. We are all related in that we will return to the earth. Right. Feeling good about our odds. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Feeling really good about our odds. <laughs> Tani kind of like, all right, yeah, okay. Um, well, she almost kind of, before she speaks, if any of us do die, it won't be the end of the world, like, like uh, Cortina says, I mean... It will certainly not be the end of your journey if you're dying. No, someone's journey begins at death. Well, it begins at life, continues through death, and wait. She kind of stops as the only real difference between these two in terms of their ideological towards death is that Tani realizes when she starts getting a little overboard on the preaching side, and she almost seems to stop as she realizes the glances are starting to build up, and she's like, Tani, listen They're looking to me. at you. They, I know they're looking at me. <laughs> she stops. And then, Tani, I'm an actual full-on cleric. Um, I've, hopefully I'll be keeping you all alive through this journey. Um, that's my purpose of being here. Uh, reassigned from East. Nice to make your acquaintance, everyone. Good to um, have you. Kind of gives a look over to deal. Eleanor. <laughs> and then kind of turns back. And then, uh, Baird. That's basically it, you know? I'm everywhere, man. I was like, east, central, north, south before it was shit. And, uh, well... And none of them wanted you. I can't imagine why. <laughs> ha! He kind of makes a laugh at that. Yeah, um, I worked for a big man until the big man fucking blew it. Anyways. He had it coming. Big man blew it? Oh. Hoggy kind of stops and interrupts. What what happened? Oh boy. Let's finish introductions and I'll um I'll fully give you the details because I guess there's a lot of a lot more information you uh you don't have down here. Word word doesn't travel super quick down here. Yeah, I see that. We'll have to fix um, that. So uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next kind of stops, almost looks around. He almost seems surprised, and then he kind of, like, solidifies up, kind of gets a little stiff. Abiodun. From the north. Neat. Yeah. He kind of takes a sigh of relief as you say neat, and then you just kind of turns over to you and nods his head. Lazarus takes a deep bow. I am Lazarus. Paladin. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yeah, welcome aboard, kiddo. And and who's this? Elder kind of goes up, and then she kind of puts out her hands oh. to try to, like, just kind of slowly to kind of register. Uh, a mighty Carthian. warrior. I can um, tell by their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> how are... I know how you're doing in winter. How's Lupescu in winter? Uh, Lupescu doesn't really change Okay. the seasons. Then uh, Lupescu's just like I, I am dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then he, he kind of like pushes his head further in as she starts rubbing at the snout and the forehead and everything like that. So uh, what what this, happened? This vicious animal is Lupescu. He is my, <laughs> he is my companion. He is. Uh, we are magically bound to one another. Hmm. Magic. She kind of a. Uh, uh, does, does he, um, did he get the immunity? Uh, Carthian, when you left, when you and Barrett went to left, um, you had been provided, or you were supposed to be provided, some immunity potions that would help you temporarily fight back the Sicklands. They had a strain that would still be functional for at least a little bit longer, for at least, like, maybe a week or two. Um, however, 
while there's three to be saved for you two, because you two, unlike your um, some of your companions, will have to struggle with um, the sick lands and disease, uh, there's only one. Apparently, someone stole the other two. Or they got missing, yeah. but you're pretty sure someone stole them. And as a result, Lupescu is the only one with immunization. For yeah. now. We uh, we had a very short conversation. I suggested one of us should have it. Carthian was very adamant the dog should have it. And I was not interested in fighting with that further. <laughs> oh. I do appreciate Ooh. it. You, you don't scary. have... She kind of... That's That'll complicate things. Do you have... Uh, she kind of looks to use your gas mask and, uh, Carthane, you do have a mask as well. Uh, I forgot to put it in because it was a last minute grab, but you do have it. Yes, I've, I've got a mask. I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Masks work um, pretty good in the sick lands. Like, they're not a guarantee, but so long as you're not caught in a sick storm or, you know, trying to smell a flower, you'll be fine. <laughs> I would highly I, recommend I it. Six feet. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess I gotta fill you kids in on a few things. We'll start with the stuff that happened a while ago that you apparently didn't get. Sir Remington's dead. Like, more dead than he used to be. Um, like, permanently. Guy was going nutso bonkers. Had to put him down. Which then leads to another thing. Lord Cregan is no longer in charge of West. <sighs> He's been removed from power, meaning we're down to three wardens out of five. <sighs> Duchess is acting as temporary in charge, but now the pie is sliced in thirds for who's in charge. <sighs> you notice Hoggy releases a noticeable breath of release. It seemed he stopped breathing after you had said Remington was dead, and... Now that he knows that his own direct person, the only person he actually ever met at any point, was still alive, then he's feeling a little better at that. Yeah, no. Dutchie's doing good. Don't fret. Okay. In fact, she's going to the beach, so she's fine. But the reason why we're even here, as you are well aware, we've got a queen who's a real bitch. Stirring up trouble, sending her keepers where they don't belong. <sighs> They've bothered Taboo once or twice before. You're well aware of this. <sighs> New development that's a little wild. We found a demigod in the West. <sighs> Perseverance. Here's the crazier part. She's only the first one we've encountered. The second one is our queen. She's Conquest, which explains a lot of bullshit going on in our country. Now, I don't need to make... I should have to make this too obvious. This information remains with us. We can't spread it around too much, otherwise God knows how she'll react. <clears throat> so... You notice that, uh... <laughs> he's not breathing again. He looks over at Hoggy. Yeah, you don't have to hold your breath if you get a mask, kid. I'd recommend it. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, I realize what I'm dropping on you is pretty fucking heavy. Corchina kind of leans over, <clears throat> now actually joining the circle. I'm monitoring your breath. Uh, uh, thank, thank you. Uh, Be sure to yeah. breathe or you will perish. <sighs> he started, he Lazarus... stops, starts breathing, calming down. Yeah, Laz, what's up? Laz has, his eyes are fixated on you. It's honestly unnerving. Even though his expression is neutral, his eyes are almost like a predator staring down prey. And you feel like there's malice in there hearing what you are talking about. Not directed at you, personally. But he's probably angry. <laughs> yeah. Barrett feels the eyes on him, and you notice he like gets a little uncomfortable and kind of shifts his positioning. God, don't stare, please. <laughs> so, that brings us to why the fuck are we out here? Well, turns out, the king, who we haven't heard from in a while, 
is sick as a dog, and weirder yet, he's infected with sick lands. Apparently a weird attempted coup by uh, the new Conqueror Pain. So, a reliable source and a good friend of mine made it clear we need a cure. So, it's no secret Lobro has been considered as ground zero, or the possibility of being ground zero for the sick lands being what they are. The mission is get to Lobro, find the origin, if it happens to be there, synthesize a cure, and survive long enough to bring it back to Central. Well, there are some problems with that. Yeah, I figured. What you got? He sighs, finally breaking the stare he had going. You notice now that not only is this man a, a cat, <laughs> for lack of a better term, yeah. you notice you <laughs> notice a, a slender and long crocodile-like tail dragging <laughs> behind him. Well, I've been acting as an active scout in the sick lands for quite some time now. In fact, I've been out there more than I've been here. We have some uh, troubles regarding reaching Lowborough. More than usual? Yes. Nice. So, other than your usual natural threats. We have some increased activity regarding plants. They've been growing and growing and show no sign of stopping. Not your local weed or grass. More vicious stuff. Hoppers. Strangleweed. And not only that, but as you are probably aware, there is a large body of water between us and Lobero. That is being inhabited by Maggie, is what I call her. Maggie? The hell's Maggie? Maggie. A friend. No. You see, if you take the size of this room and maybe double it a little bit, you'll get cl closer, size. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, uh, some cross of reptilian predator with everything bad out there. I couldn't get a solid look, but that thing has been eating everything and anything near her hunting grounds. She, uh, after a week-long stakeout, I saw how she behaves and... We are not getting past that unnoticed. She has complete control over the shores and the body of water. There are no more animals in the body of water in her hunting grounds. She has resorted to eating anything on the shores, including plants, roots, insects, and if for, he looks around, probably people. Cortina raises her hand. And fungus, yes. <laughs> Have you tried talking to her? Yes. From above a tree. What did she say? <laughs> I see. You, you see, see as Lazarus <laughs> you see when Lazarus makes that noise, his lower jaw splits open, <laughs> revealing a mouth filled with teeth and acid dripping onto the floor. Baird makes visible a half-held resolution in a moment. Oh, what the fuck? And he kind of turns over and sees the mouth. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> the right. maw closes. Ah, I forgot to mention, I am so, so very sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, you once, fucking forgot. Jeez. Once again, uh, hello, I'm Lazarus Paladin and probably one of the first humanoid chimeras of the sick lands. Congratulations, I guess. 
Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. You um, you all sort of assemble there. That's a lot to take in. Okay. Um, I I realize why a lot of this information was supposed to stay in this room. Yeah. No, it's it's a lot. We're still kind of piecing everything together. <sighs> well, okay. If... She kind of looks around. <clears throat> You know, I thought we had a pretty big team, but now I'm not really sure. If it helps, I should mention, Maggie is an apex predator. Uh, a megafauna at that. A mega predator, if you will. She is extremely aggressive and will attack anything that moves nearby. We can use that to our advantage. Do you still have explosives laying around, uh, Ellie? Um, gosh, I don't... I might be able to get that on the ship. I don't know. Um, if we I'll can bait her check. into taking a bite of something she doesn't like, she may leave us alone for a little bit, but that doesn't ensure her safety, much less in a trip back. Tandy speaks up. If it's explosives, isn't that your specialty, Barrett? Yep, sure fucking is. I only have a um, certain amount, but if we can get some extra materials and uh seeing as the sick lands is chock full of weird alchemical stuff <sighs> might be able to brew something up yeah, if we can uh, hurt hey, hey. some poppers that could be interesting hey hey, hey loopy loopy lupescu kind of looks oh. and then it kind of steps back to like i'm gonna i'm gonna see about looking stuff up i'm gonna get the boats uh yeah keep, keep strategizing and all that i'm just gonna she starts heading out and then um uh hoggy's like well, I think my notes are pretty unhelpful for this specific endeavor, but, um, how are, oh. Um, there's a bit of a silence for a moment, and then, uh, Abu kind of raises his hand again, or Abu, Abu Dun raises his hand, and, uh... Barrett just points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Barrett kind of elbows him. Yeah, come on, go for it! Um... How are we dividing our teams? And I'm gonna I'm gonna break really quick to give this question to you guys. Yeah. You have a decently sized group of characters and NPCs and otherwise. Once you set camp and make a home base in the Sicklands, um, Eleanor will be making it her responsibility to try and keep things organized there, um, and try in order to like keep that camp a safe place away from disease with copious amounts of fire magic and otherwise um in the meanwhile every other character including the pesku obviously but that's sort of a given um yeah, is capable of staying at camp or going with you on expedition however uh you'd like probably want to avoid having characters leave with you on an expedition until you know you know that they're uh the camp's safe You'll right. want to leave at least probably some people at camp in order to Resource make sure it's not attacked. management. <clears throat> yeah! Right. So, um, I can mm. fight good. It also means you can defend good. He kind of shrugs. Right now, my thought process is, and again, I'm open to suggestions. Small teams. But never lopsided or as much as we can do you know i want to have at least four out in the field always and whoever's not out in the field stay back at base heal up keep up the defenses study learn all right uh, no much better at that yeah my only condition is that lupescu comes with me yeah that felt like a given yeah mm. Tanny kind of pokes at her chin. Uh, all right, all right. I can help the away team. I think it's for the best if I stay back at camp. I'm not sure. Uh, it's good to... I mean, he kind of looks over. If we're going to have a paladin going out, then a cleric back at home makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm great for staying in the nice cozy camp with no bad disease stuff. Abby Dune sees conflicted, but kind of nods. I'll keep things safe at home. Yeah. Now, obviously, once we start getting deeper into this place, we're likely going to come back and maybe switch some people out for special tasks. <sighs> like if we need to hunt something in particular, 
That's where you come in. He points over at Abudin. Um, if we need to open something up or maybe bait, that's where Baird comes in. And <laughs> if we're going to need some hella good healing or something to push through an especially bad and toxic area, bad news, Tawny, that's probably you. She kind of just leaves a sigh. Yeah, yeah. But chances um, I are... I have it. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of... Hoggy pulls out a uh, rough map. I've done my best to make an account of uh, cartography for the map. This is rough, and I've only been able to take estimates. However, if you'd like to see it, I could try to show you. Yeah, I'll see what you got. All right. He um kind of moves up and places the map, and everyone kind of like peeks over a bit, kind of moving up to go see it. Tanny kind of looks um, and moves up the Cortina. I'll give you a rough idea of what it looks like, unless you gotta see, unless your little brother will do that. He can also not see. I see. She kind of. Oh. Are both y'all blind? Yes, we are visually impaired. However, our senses are stronger than yours. Duly not in. So, right now, this Ooh. is the map of the Sicklands. Wow! Ooh. Oh, yo! <laughs> Look at those polyps. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so, so cool. You can see, he's marked out Toter's Tower. That spot yeah. over here, unfortunately, has been utterly swallowed up by the forest. I could barely locate it. I think the insides, well, I hazard not check there, but right outside the front, I think there'd be a good opportunity to set up a campsite. Yeah. Can I mark the uh, Maggie's uh, hunting grounds? Uh, Maggie's hunting grounds are in and around Lobero. Um, yeah, there's a lot of marshes entire... and stuff. This entire lake, but also um, kind of lurking around in these different marshes. More so in like, like kind of around the sides and stuff there. You can uh, go around the like marshy areas to the north and south of Lobro, but that puts you through, by Hoggy's estimate, even more bits of polyps and strange, you know, Oof. sick lands. I, you should understand that the entire sick lands is rotted to some degree, but I've marked down locations that seem to be more so than others. And yeah, you think that this generally matches with what you've experienced. Um, uh, Glad, uh, yes, Laz. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, this is very helpful. Nice work. Um, so you're saying that our best course of action would be to um, more or less head straight for Lobero, then cut south, go east again, and come in through the water? And that's where this Maggie is? If we cut in, uh, I, I don't know about that. Uh, it kind of turns over to Laz again. <sighs> a general rule of thumb in the sick lands is avoid water. Everything that's bad on land is twice as bad on water. Makes sense. We should avoid water as much as possible, including small puddles. Hmm. But your your plan does sound sound. <laughs> <laughs> Not a plan, let me make that clear. That was me just throwing an idea out there. Don't take it for my word immediately. Uh, yeah, no, that's a fair point. If we fall in that water, we're fucked. Yeah, there's everything that you do not want to encounter in there. Mm. Uh, Tanny kind of blinks hello. twice. Wait a minute, what What happened in between? Um, Hagi kind of looks, oh, um... It's not gone. It's still around. Um, things have been getting worse there. Just Wait within up. the past few months. Um, Barrett really, although, like, tilts his head. I mean, in between was fine, like, what, two or three months ago? Right? Aggie kind of gives a dour look. The and then just kind of nods. The plans carry the sickness. If he kind of, like, says something from what I've seen... It's, um, he kind of, he kind of is about to say something. Uh, you all wouldn't happen to understand mathematics, would you? Yeah, I'm acquainted. He kind of turns over, Barrett. Oh, yeah, um, it's, um, exponential. About a year ago, 
it was growing at a certain rate. And then after, from what I can gather, over the years it keeps growing and growing and it got kind of caught up on the river, on all these rivers, but you can kind of notice that it sort of began to spread out through land and in between, um, I'm not quite sure what happened, but suddenly it started popping up and then after a month it would got around the coasts and by two months it suddenly spiraled near the town and by three months now people are getting sick with all manner of things luckily the the affliction of lobro is yet to hit but all the same it's not looking good so if our mission's to find out a cure or a cause i think we've picked a really good time Fuck. You can even, um, he kind of points over. It started to get past the river to Tapu, too. I'd say we've got about a month before it starts hitting Tapu at the current rate. Why the hell is it speeding up so much? I mean, yeah, we knew it was exponentially growing, but like, this is a hell of a just pedal to the metal for this shit. <sighs> I'm not sure. Um, he kind of, uh, I've yet to really figure out what's going on. It's not it's not a matter of one disease, one affliction. It's hundreds stacked upon each other. And then, of course, the mystery of Lobero, which I've... <laughs> quite frankly, I haven't even been able to get into the city. Yeah, no one has Same been. here. That actually um, makes me think. So you guys have been near Lobero, right? Yep. Maggie stops me every time. Um, Fuck, she just I've usually gone bleep. with guides, but yeah. It's like a gate guardian. So, that makes me think then. What happened to, uh, Tobble's uh, golems? There should be some outside of the city, right? Probably deactivated at this point, but. Uh, Laz, give me a, um, hmm. Would this be. I, I don't know if this would be survival. This is more of like a, um. Is this investigation, hmm. maybe? I think this would be investigation, yes. Yikes. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> uh. It's fine. I believe in the heart of the dice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I would. Honestly. You've never heard of that before. I have I have no idea what you're talking about. If they are <laughs> golems, they may have just been eaten or rotten. Indistinguishable from rock. The, I mean, the golems I heard are supposed to be like, like 10 feet tall at least. You didn't see any of them? No. Again, Lazarus, you don't? Really know what a golem is? <laughs> like, uh, fuck. <laughs> Baron just kind of throws like, his hands up. Like, God you can't damn think it. of any. Yeah, like there are plenty of ten foot tall monsters, but you never heard of one being called a golem. Yeah, can't say I have seen any of those. Sorry. Um, yeah, no. And now let me roll know for what hockey. they are. <laughs> we all look at Lazarus. <laughs> 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 yeah, I feel but, uh... your heart rate rising. <laughs> you, you do know what an automaton, a golem, is, right? No. <laughs> it is, fuck me, it is a big person made of metal or stone or some other inanimate object, and it's, it can be big, it can be our height, it's... It, it's not alive. They don't rot. I see. <laughs> I guess you didn't. Okay, Hoggy no. rolled well. Um, Hoggy's oh investigation. God. He ended up. Um, he uh, kind of peeks. Uh, toters, golems, yes. Yeah. Well, they're not toters. They're... To my understanding, they're his fathers. But I mean. Ah, right, right. Um, either way, they're I still think toddlers. If I'm correct. I have seen a few of those. They're around the sick lands. They've been busy. Uh, I believe he kind of points over to a map. A majority of them are stationed over on this side. They seem to be attempting to combat the spread in some way. But you said that you've also seen them around the sick lands. <laughs> yes. Um, I. He kind of like, uh. I've seen some disabled, one moving. Um, it was. Yeah, they're a strange folk, um, but he kind of scratches the side of his head. 
when I attempted to investigate what was going on with it, it simply assured me I needed to leave. It asked me if I was from Lobro, and I said no. I was a scholar, and it informed me that, well, the Sicklands is not a place for me, and it then proceeded to start scorching some flowers, and I just kind of decided that was my time to leave, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can't say I have seen anything like that. I haven't encountered a single thing able to speak out there. That's bizarre. Why the hell are they moving now? Yeah, no. Even if we weren't checking this out for the cure for the king, and now for in-between, there's a lot of weird shit happening that wasn't going on before. It's an ever-changing mass of land. I guess. Well, all right. Never mutating. Yeah. Well. well what do shit you got? just got worse. Great. Cool. Yeah, yeah, um, that sick lands in a nutshell. Fantastic. I think we're gonna have a great time. Um, I'm gonna cut right there, and uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick, and sure. then we're gonna start the next scene. Ooh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Take a little break for, for the chat. Can, canonically, has never seen a goal in that. <laughs> That's great. You're gonna, you're gonna see minus a, one intelligence, baby. You're gonna see a, you're gonna like see a golem and just point and go a giant. <laughs> What's it doing here? Fiend. Fiend. <laughs> God. So how you doing, chat? I can't read you, but. Y'all can hear us. And you're also in the hey, future. Hey, chat, I'm here live. Uh, you can go ahead and Cole talk Snurman. to me. Uh, you can go ahead and talk to me. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm responding to the things I'm seeing in the chat right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I suppose. All box of swords out here, out here, uh, uh, throwing <laughs> us, uh, throw, throwing throw us some stuff. Out of the yield? <laughs> we really appreciate that, man. Uh, <laughs> you, you're great. Uh, we got, uh, uh, uh who is... Who is Skelsnervnet? Oh, Sk Skelsnervnet? Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Classic bit. Very funny. Uh, uh, bet you didn't expect my ass to show up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's very surprised. Everybody's in, in awe. Uh, let me see. Let me just read. Flabbergasted even. Read, read some quick Her stuff fumbled. in the chat. Her uh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeedly. 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 I'm glad everyone's enjoying it so far, chat. Um, yeah. <laughs> great. Well, what the fuck? Why would any of you call us that? That's yeah, so rude. Whoa, hold on. Oh, ban that that's... person ban, right now. Ban. <laughs> I'm I'm on it. Thanks. Are we God, all back? They're gonna be so confused. Uh, yeah, no, we're, <laughs> we are, we are, we are back. We are good to go. Uh, and the best <laughs> right. part is that, yeah, Patreon people will see this first, and there's not even a fucking chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, oops. By the way, this map is so dope. Yeah, uh, Hatter uh, it is, is, by the way. Yeah, uh, Hatter was yeah. right on Discord. Um, also made done. some maps for this, which was really great too. Um, Ooh. the maps we've seen so far have been Gabriel Pickled special, great, Gabriel Pickled, great <laughs> Pickled Gabriel specials, Gabriel except, Pickle. uh, and a lot of the swamp art, uh, is done by Aloha, and then countless Ooh. other maps are, uh, will, you will see, are done by a bunch of different things, like, some two-minute tabletop stuff, or either cartographer, um, Seiden Beyond. Peku, I virtue that name, um, there's, there's a ton. Nice. But yeah. Uh, the unlikable goo -doo -doo I got, I got a Giant. budget, so I just went and got a bunch of premiums. <laughs> As you and should. That's fair. paid someone else to make maps for me. As you Amen, should. brother. So. Uh, I love how high quality all this, all the textures yeah. are in this. Yeah. Thing. The, the thing yeah. that, like, Baird notices... And like, does it mm -hmm. bring up? Because he's like, I don't want to sound like a crazy person right now. Because low bros are focused. He is concerned about the bottom right, how it's on those little islands. He's like, what the yeah. fuck is that about? Yeah, uh, Baird is very concerned of that. <laughs> you said, I think you said Baird instead of Barrett. I think oh, I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was I was like, like Baird. Oh, it's boy. already happening. It's, it's already, already happening. happening. And I'm me. 
I know you made Barrett's been around forever. Look, Barrett's got a very infectious personality, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> somebody say infection. <laughs> oh, oh. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we all ready to go? <clears throat> I think so. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll slip right. a knife between Baird's ribs real quick just so we can <laughs> undo that confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Gil? Go. <laughs> Gil! Gil! All right. So, no, um, the monster, <laughs> holding the monster energy can't kill. Yeah. So, um, those words Baird said, sarcastically, this is going to be great. You really gotta... People should really shut up sometimes, you know? <laughs> you think back to those words as you run across the swamp. We're still on this map, but... You find yourself moving quickly, and that's when you hear the sounds of shouting. Fighting. As... A thump. A pounding. And you run up as you hear splashing and more movement. As you catch in this area... Generally surrounded, um, the entity over in the center, having moved into the swamp, is currently almost on a standoff. You start moving up, you, uh, the Pescu, and Tani, and Carthian. As you approach the rocks in your way, almost sort of stop your vision for a moment. But as you turn the corner, you take a visual of this beast itself. And as you look, um, uh, you notice Eleanor is pretty terrified looking at something, Carthian, as you approach. Uh, Lup um, Lupestu kind of takes you around the corner for a moment. And Laz, you are moments. Uh, uh, I'm yeah. having a real bitch of a time controlling both of them. Really? Uh, <laughs> can you drag? Uh, both oh, you have your mask move? now. Uh, oops. You should be able to can highlight you... both of them and then. Yeah, and I I do that, and then yeah, now it works. All right. All right. So you move Victory. around, and um, oh, and then as you sort of turn, you notice what's being stared at. The creature in front of you. You notice it seems to be holding a bloody, battered, wounded individual in its hands. A companion of yours seems to wearing acid burns, bludgeoned body and otherwise, oh. seems to be pushed down on the ground and it seems to be holding him. This, Barrett, you reflect, would probably have been your fate should you have failed to shoot away the awful thing in front of you. That oh. Thing. Is, is hey, this... bitch, he was right there. <laughs> is, <laughs> yeah. Is this yeah, a involved. bog beast? You say that word, bog beast. And as that sort of reflects, you remember, back over here, oh. um, during one of the days of travel, when you're trying to go closer to the Sicklands to in order to deploy everything taken inside of this shack in order to help take across, you remember a discussion was occurring, just sharing random tales. Laz, you ended up telling more and more about the sort of weird shit. You told more about Maggie, the multiple lined teeth, the almost snake-like leeches emerging from its head, the long almost megafauna scaled body that's almost like yours but yet different longer the weird fins that wrapped around its paws and uh with that eleanor just kind of standing wrapped everyone kind of looks wow that sounds terrifying yeah so yeah the worst thing out there so we're, we're going fucking not through the water right we're gonna go around the side with all that fucked up fungi excuse me uh, you gotta stop. Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> the fungi that won't kill me. You gotta stop. Unless I'm, I'm wrong and there's no difference still. There may be no difference. You gotta stop. What the f- And then, uh, <laughs> over in the corner. Well. Mind you, we're not safe in land either. 
there's plenty of stuff out there that will very gladly attack us. Yes, see. Hoggy kind of uh, speaks up too. Yes, uh, I can tell you one of the worst things. There's countless strange beasts, and honestly, with the change of the months, everything seems to change with time. It's almost like a new beast pops up before you're finished recording or putting in your records of a new thing, but one thing's been a constant for almost years now. Uh, Barrett, I think you might know about this one too. Um, since it was around when you were around, some 34 years ago, this new strange strand of, strand of beast appeared, and to this day, it, it's almost, it kind of seems to be shuddering a little bit. It's it's by far one of the most terrifying. It's still a beast, nothing too special, but it's by far one of the most annoying, stressful things to fight. There's no real winning against it. That bog thing. Beast. The bog beast. And sort of reflecting back now, as those memories pop back in front, you see the beast holding Hoggy as it almost seems to lift up, toss him up into the air as he almost like slaps down on the ground here. And then this awful beast becomes more clear. Its body is translucent. A slug-like being mixed with the body and strength of a gorilla. Slime and ooze almost drips down it, melding together with the swamp and collecting diseases and poxes all into its form, melding with the swamp itself, yet retaining physical aspects of itself. And as it stands, suddenly it almost looks up, standing even taller, and then it smashes its fists down onto the water, creating a large torrent of water in the place it stands, and then reaches up and without releasing a single sound, starts slamming down on its chest, a popping and a squishing sound, a repeated drum of war that this animal creates, the most dangerous part of the bog beast, an ooze granted intelligence. Hey! <laughs> and now, first combat. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! <laughs> and uh, let me just add everyone to the list. Oh, man. Here. So, uh, I had moved let's... Barrett over here specifically to be a camera. So uh, uh -huh. I was actually going to have him be up here on the left, if that's all right. I'll, I'll keep him, like, farther yes. back and all that, Jess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a I wall. Moved where you can move that there. And there we go. Ooh. Oh. There we so, go. with that, we're gonna we're gonna get ourselves started. Everyone, oh. we're gonna roll. Yeah, Let me just baby. roll for here. I'll just roll for everyone. All right, oh, Les. Wow. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Look at how cool this is. <laughs> All these fancy bells and whistles. Great. Look I go here. first. You know what I'm gonna do? What are the you gonna do? The thing I do! <laughs> Charge? Yes! Alright, you start moving into the water, and as you realize, you start ah, splashing into this, this deep is water. This is why I was first. <laughs> <laughs> and as you start splashing, you notice the pescu starts having a little trouble running into this water. It being covered in... Oh, actually, the pescu. How high, high is the pescu up? How high his legs bring he's, him? I think he's he, horse, horse sized. <laughs> okay, so I would say that due to being horse sized, this is still going to be a bit of trouble for him. Um, as he starts running, you manage to get up to this spot, and um, Carthian. The moment you step up, you hear someone call out. Uh, Abaddon, who has been others utterly silent up until this point, calls out with a much alarmed face. No, 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 no! Watch out for the... And as you step up, suddenly, Carthian, I need you to make two dex rolls for me. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Just uh -oh. immediately. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right. That's fine. I was ready for this. I told you to be careful with the water. <laughs> I didn't see the water. <laughs> <laughs> Water and swamp hidden. Uh, let me. How do I roll dice? Uh, Here we go. Out. Okay, yeah, ability check on. or saving throw. Um, save. Save. Yes. Save. <laughs> Here's one. Oh, love that. Aww. Big fan. Uh, here's number uh, dose. Uh, 
I like that hey! one better. Oh, hey! damn! Okay. I'll keep that one. <laughs> All right, so um, <clears throat> you end up charging in, and almost immediately, as you begin pushing into this area, the uh, next to you, you notice something, a plant, almost seems to pop out of the water, shooting up, almost pushing up with a ton of water pressure as the pescu steps on one of its vines. It flings up into the air, and almost immediately, you manage to almost lean to the side as it flies over the pescu, and you manage to sort of body block from above as the thorns fly out and slam into your back. Shield and, up, baby! <laughs> and, uh, the next one pops up, and you're not having any of that shit this time, as Upescu kind of gets down low, and you sort of swing over to the side yourself, and you manage to completely dodge all the spines for this one. Yeah. Poppers! Um, we're, we're, yes. we're drifting! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doggy drifting! Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> that sounds like something else. And, and I'm going to, uh, fuck. All right, so... I'm gonna say uh, first. Do you have reach? Take... I do. I think I do, Lance. Yep. Lance so you take. Reach. You take 15 damage. Oh 15 my god! Damage. Not terrible. Not great. Oops. I'm sorry. Uh, damn it. 68 minus 15 is. God, your HP. <laughs> yeah, I rolled like dog shit on my HP, gang. Uh, I for, for a fucking that. fighter? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, fucking 68 minus 15 is uh, 40, 53, thanks. <clears throat> yeah, don't knock yourself more. No, 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 I accidentally put in 15, and oh, that's, why, sure. that's why my bar got so little. Uh, is this still my turn? Uh, yes, if you can do anything. I mean, I can keep running. That's true. You could Let, definitely let's get, uh, run let's more. Let's get all of the Bramble Bombs out of the way. Oh, my <laughs> God. Sure. So, I don't know why I picked you first when your initiative was eight, but I will go with it. Oh, weird. Um, yeah. Smash. Okay. You smash on up there, and you actually get close. You can... Are you... I think you're one square away. I have reach. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Yeah. So, that's good. So, okay. uh, we, um, where, where, are my, where are my attacks at? And let me, how do I find those? Well, just, just looking at this new sheet, and I can't even scroll on it? What? Oh, there, hmm? there, there, there it goes. Okay, I got it. Um, oh my god. Fucking I forgot to roll something. Yeah. Oh! Mm. Oh, don't worry, that's, that's HP. That's the HP. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, rolled, I rolled HP for this thing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, no, 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 that's cool. Right, 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 right. Okay. I was like, you stepped on a popper directly. <laughs> you take 20 billion damage. Wow, where, this game's hard. Where are my attacks? <laughs> on my um, sheet? Uh, your they... inventory. You click on the, uh, uh, I see, I see, I see. the dice next to what you're going to use and then do that. Okay. Uh, that. I don't know if I get a bonus from, uh, from charging. I'm sure I do of some yes. sort. Uh, you do get a bonus from charging. I think it's like a plus um, two or something like that. Uh, for your charges, I made you that special mounted charger. Mm. Um, so you get a plus five bonus to the attack's damage roll, or you can push it ten feet away from you. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so I'll ju it's just normal, normal old uh, mm -hmm. whatever it is, and then the damage yeah. is what matters. All right. Well, we'll see if I hit first. Hey! Hey! hey that hits. Wonderful. Um... Now I do the damage. And I'm going to do an extra five. Push it towards my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Nice. All right, yeah. Um, that's seven. Okay, I'll take a note of that. So you manage to cut it, and you tear away a large chunk of the beast's, uh, like, slime and flesh it splatters against the tree and as that happens that very same splatter almost starts spewing out like just a, a stream of anime blood and it splashes directly on top of you and lupescu um now as a note lupescu doesn't need to make a constitution roll uh you do okay uh 
Oh god. It's fine. It's fine. I burned up all of my bad rolls in the last campaign I was in. <laughs> <laughs> you really did, huh? Oh, okay. You really did. You really did. Oh, okay. You pass. Yay! Uh, it sprays against, but luckily it gets on your mask. You feel, um, or I, I don't say your mask. You, it mostly gets on your cloak of protection as you feel the sizzling match up against the magic, the magic and the sizzling. Mm-hmm. The sizzling. So, um, you feel some of that sizzling. First off, um, when you, you, you kind of feel it drifting down as you stabbed into the beast. Um, you take three damage as some of the corrosive splatter manages to fall on your hand. Oh, God. Um, oh, uh, is your, is your, um, is your weapon magical? I think it is. Uh, wait, maybe not. Nope, just a lance. All right, it gets a negative one to damage rolls. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like some exposition, you get to minus five and it breaks permanently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, oh god. Oh, that's me. Yep. I'll place the ability. The fun uh, fact, Lazarus has the same ability. <laughs> oh. The corrosive Minus form. the damage. And disease dictor is what you rolled against. Oh, within five feet. Um Ooh. the lance has range. Uh oh wait. Yeah, no, no, you're right. Actually, yeah. no, no. I forgot. The disease Icker has range of ten feet, but that's five feet. So no, it doesn't actually hit your lance. Your hey. lance is fine. You brought the best weapon wow. to fight this thing. Good job, buddy. Undo Woo. that negative one penalty to damage. Yay, Yay man, brother. Yeah. So you managed to basically, like, slap it with the end of the lance and kind of pull the lance away. It doesn't manage to get to the hilt or the value of parts. It's like it a bit of the, the tip corrodes, but it doesn't really matter because you have a new good tip at the very That's end. Nice. Yeah. You could do this all day. So. Gaming. Uh, now, I kind of want to move back to Barrett. Sure. Um, so let's see if I can manually um, move to, back right? to Barrett. I don't want to like make it do everyone's turns over again. Um, but you know, let's just go in the order as we see it, and I'll continue once we get past Carthian. So sure. Barrett, you go. All right. Uh, Barrett is going to scurry up here as quick as he can, just to the shoreline, mm -hmm. um, and he's going to drop down to one knee get his shotgun ready. Uh, it is designed in a way that he can go much further than you might expect. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do uh, the deadly shot. So it's a minus five on his attack rolls. Uh, okay. So let me pull out my shotted gun. Um, beep, 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 beep. Attack. Uh, uh, oh, situational bonus, minus five. And roll. No. no. Oof. Yeah, you fire out, and as the shot fires, it almost hits into a portion that was supposed to be a fair. You swear that would have hit. You swear that would have hit. But actually, no, with the seven, even with armor. No, I think, Barrett, you get down close and you try to fire, but the rain, the fog, the wetness, having to run quickly, you can't get a clear bead with this thing flailing around and spraying everywhere. They manage to shoot wide as the shot ends up hitting the tree behind it. That's no problem, because Barrett can shoot twice. So here's another one. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, Both shots rolled just go those wide. 20s. Oh, God, you're Jesus. right. Jesus. Barrett so, annoyed. Uh, Barrett misses again. God damn it. Uh, he reaches into his um, uh, coat, and I think for, for your safety, my guy, uh, I think <laughs> Barrett is going to... Yeah, how far can I throw this thing? Uh, 15 foot radius, 60 feet. Uh, I am going to throw out, uh, the disinfectant disc. Uh-huh. So, as long as you stay within that, you will, uh, keep on getting <laughs> heals. Uh, oh, nice. And, Including the beast. Uh, no, I can choose. No, nice. Damn. And only allies. So, um, Carthian, you yes. get, uh, 12 temporary hit points. Yay! Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, you see Barrett reach into his jacket, pull out this weird disc, and just whip it out into the water, and you see it's like skipping across like a stone, and then suddenly gets into the air and just kind of hovers and just keeps spritzing out this weird kind of perfume almost. Oh, damn, that's great. Um, I'm does, going to give you an observation then. When mm. you look at Hoggy, 
you notice that he doesn't seem to make any sort of movements. It doesn't seem like any extra HP is going to reach him in his current state, if you get what I mean. Yeah, does... However, um, noticing this, Tani, as just a free action... Is he dead? I can't tell. It's too fucking rainy out. She kind of thinks, noticing it has no effect. Get him out or get me in. Oh, yeah, I'll get right on it. All right. So, um, can you do anything else or is that it? Uh, that is everything unless I can try to study Hoggy to see <laughs> if he is alive or not. From this distance, um, probably not. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, uh, I think this is pretty easy as a roll. Give me a roll. Uh, perception, investigation. He is broken. Uh, perception. <laughs> perception. Where is my perception? Uh, there you are. Boop. Uh, normal. Hey. He's broken in half. Don't make jokes, Andre. <laughs> uh, uh, you notice? Uh, yeah, he's, he's broken in half? Yes. Uh, leave him. He's done. <laughs> Tani kind of speak. I, I, maybe not. Um... Are you fucking Jeez. crazy? He's in half. <laughs> there is uh, two of him. Stay back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, that's into your turn, I think. Yep, that, that is Barry. He's really good. You. Mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> little brother. Not you, little brother. <laughs> little brother, why do you do so good? <laughs> little brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah little brother roll? kind of looks... Um, little brother can't really help you. He rolled like a close to a 20. <laughs> no, he rolled like a 19. He got a 21 because he's plus two to dex. He rolled a 19. Wow. Or, or even like is dex or yeah, yeah, dex. Well, he's he, he's just gonna run over to Barrett. All right. Oh, no. Um, he uh, little mushroom. Uh, actually, he's going to swim because he's so tiny that'll swim. Um, <laughs> uh, Mushroom swims up in Barrett's direction. Uh, let me make a perception check for Mushroom. Um, little brother, normal. be careful. Oh, nice. little, uh, what a king. Good. Mushroom Why is this pops little... out of the water. Mushroom pops out of the water and then makes an exaggerated, kind of cute, like, boom. <laughs> and uh, he marks the um, oh that was underneath the water right here. Is he playing Minesweeper? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what a bro. And uh, he can make it about here, since he doesn't really have negative because he's swimming. Wow, and he go just, far. Uh, just swim. You go far. He's a capable little brother. You yeah. go far. That's about 30 feet when not appalled, like with the yeah. rough terrain here. Um, does everyone see the difficult terrain mark, by the way? Just yes, I do. Excellent, yes. So... Uh, with that, little brother, Tani's turn. Tani sees the boom mark, and she kind of, sh she moves around. Let's see. She was here, so that's one, two. She's going to climb up on here, uh, move around the side, and then she's going to attempt to leap over here, right next to where little brother is swimming. <laughs> As she hops over, um, actually... Uh, oh no. If I she does a cannonball, here. the wave might push little brother. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's say she can do it. This is an athletics, but you're not too good at that. Oh my oh, no! god. Oh, oh my no. god. First negative. She tries to climb up and leap, and she face first into the water, taking up a shit ton of water, sickness. Luckily, it's. Hang on. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hang on. Let's see. Two. Okay, she falls here. Okay, that's, um... <laughs> so, uh... Luckily, that doesn't trigger that trap. Um, <laughs> but, uh, she is gonna have to roll a constitution save. Um, oh, I love all these NPCs Christian gave us to kill. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, um anyways... If I use uh, Flash of Genius, is that going to be enough to push her over? What? How much does Flash of Genius give? It Plus will give four. my intelligence modifier, which is a four. Over eleven. Um, that should be enough. Yes. Excellent. I will activate Flash of Genius. Um, let me mark that. D -d -d -d. Uh, Flash of Genius. Use this ability. Count towards it. Barrett just looks over. What the fuck? Pull your head out of the water! What are you? What are you doing? Uh, 
she quickly pulls out. You notice that she managed to wrap her cope cape around cope cape around her head as she fell cope. in. It almost started kind of holding in on her, and she was confused. But she gets out quickly, rips it down, and it, you think that even though her face is a little wet, that not too much water managed to flood inside of her orifices in any way. She sort of like stands back up and looks around. She's unfortunately can't move anymore this turn as she sort of looks over. I can, I can help him. She's going to use her action then to uh, actually, um, uh, she move. will double move over. Uh, I mean, she just gets jealous, over here so exactly. Getting split in half. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. And I think if she moves there, she can use the rest, like half of her movement to kind of pick this guy up. She picks up the torso. Uh, she used her actions she can't do, and she kind of moves it over. I hope this works. Um, and as she does that, unfortunately, moving over in that direction... Um, she puts oh on a little bump. <laughs> Barrett, you see as her back's turned, something seems to pop up. Um... Ah, oh, uh, fuck I know where this is going. <laughs> uh... So let me just add that too, and I'm gonna roll it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, okay, Abu Dun's turn. Um, this is gonna be pretty simple. Trying to scope around the best he can. He's just going to. Um, uh, he actually notices a lot going on close range, and uh, he sort of pulls out a sword on his back, and uh, as he sort of looks at it, he whispers a word out loud. Um, Sushito. And suddenly, the sword starts to spin, and he kind of pushes it in the air, and it appears, starts floating, and starts to turn malevolently over in the direction of the bog beast. Ha! Unfortunately, it's really, really slow. <laughs> <laughs> whispers, big slappy. Big slappy. <laughs> and then, the almost Austin absent... <laughs> Absent-mindedly, almost. He takes a shot with a crossbow. <laughs> Ooh, plus one Let's crossbow. See. Oh, no! Jesus Christ. No! Okay, to be fair, shot... it's a 15. It misses. Um, really? Yep, oh, it misses as no. it fires through and almost sinks into the flesh of the thing, and it just this kind of melts away. This is a comedy of This really is. Everything's gone wrong at once. Anyways, Eleanor. Um, I'm going to have Eleanor roll a... Um, Wisdom saving throw really quick. Okay, she's she's level headed. Um, uh -huh. She kind of kind of shaking her hands a little bit. She sort of okay, reaches I inside. I, I won't need to use my reaction to slap sense. <laughs> yeah, get your rack together. <laughs> that DCC morale check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, she starts layering her options here um, as a. Uh, she decides that she's going to try giving a toss. This is going to be that. Um, and oh, she has to get closer. So she's going to try to go up here. And then let's see if she can make it. Let's see. So can see what's going on. Oh, she can't reach. Wait, wait. Huh? You're using difficult terrain ruler. That shouldn't no, affect. Uh, it's not. I'm looking for, uh, let's see. Wait, yeah, 5, 10, 15. Still can't reach. Uh, I think she can go for a dart at disadvantage, though. She's got darts? She's got darts. Good for She's her. She's got two darts. Uh, but she can make two of these attacks. Ellie. Oh, my God. This can we is... get all the NPCs to huddle together in the background? Oh, hey, hey, that hits. Thing? That hits. That hits. <laughs> um, that'll be normal. She puts out a dart, throws it out, and it manages to reach over. And unfortunately, um, the damage is a little off because as it hits this thing, this thing is not affected by poison. So instead, she does four damage to it. All right. You notice this. that, like, as soon as a poison dart flies into it, it just falls to pieces. I'm gonna get rid of this thing she was trying to flow, throw here, because she did not. Yeah. yeah. There that's we go. Great. Okay, that's gone. Yeah. All right. So next up is the bog beast. Oh God. <laughs> so it turns over, and so far, 
Um, it notices that you're the one who did the most shit. It's going to move in next to you, um, Carthian. Do you get an attack of opportunity against that? Uh, I believe no. I do. No. Oh. Uh, Polar Master is, is the only way oh. you can get an attack of opportunity once it oh, moves okay. in. Okay, gotcha. So it moves in, and um, it's going to make one pseudopod attack and two claw attacks. Oh, God. Hi, fuck Here's you. the pseudopod. No. Why are you rolling good regarding that bullshit? And that's... Let's roll for damage for that first before I do claw. Okay, okay 12. Okay. That's not great. That could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to do this claw attack. Um, I'll do a second one. Cool. Oh, oh fuck off. Oh, no. What did Rip. you mean by this? Oh, Ooh. my God. Cool. Cool. Very good. It very good. In for the yeah, crit. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my, oh god. my god! Oh yeah, no, 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 no. This is actually good, and you'll see why here in a second. Okay, okay. Please um, enlighten me. So that's uh, four. That's fifty damage, all in total. Okay, oh. okay, awesome, awesome. So, uh, guess exactly how much HP I have. No, no, no. <laughs> even, even with my. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, so awesome. Check this out. Uh, I fall off of Lupescu and uh -huh. hit the fucking dirt. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that um, was cool. Yeah. That's the, so, one thing. One, one upside of this. Uh, holy shit. That's so fucking unfortunate. Um. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, yeah. The first thing you like had to do, though. Save, yeah. Yeah, you need to make a constitution a save. Oh, this no, damage happened mask. before you fell unconscious, though, and you do not get from falling. You get advantage on this because of this. So, give me a con check with advantage. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds oh, good. Why were your <laughs> HP rolls so little? It's saving, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey, that's good. Not bad. That's Not good. Bad. Hey. Yeah, yeah. You're good. You're you're alive. Um. Hey. That's good. Hey! You're alive! So, um, Unfortunate. Uh, now, Fuck actually, off. how many, how much do temporary HP do people get when they're inside this thing, by the way? Uh, I roll it turn? each time. Okay, um, oh, okay. it was 12? It was, it was 12. 12. I need to give that to Lupescu, who, now that he's no longer being piloted, has averted to his own animal instincts and is going to fight by himself. That's okay. That's Yo, okay. puppy! Yo, puppy. So... Puppy makes Don't a bite attack. Don't bite! No! <laughs> Sorry. You idiot! Puppy's gonna bite! <laughs> you fucking idiot! Bite. <laughs> oh, he oh, missed. No. He's safe. You miss anyway. You miss anyway. Thank you. Okay. Both <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Damn it! It's only ally next to it is incapacitated. So. Yeah, Lupescu tries going for a bite, and it just kind of pulls away seaweed as it sort of backs up for a second. And uh, now, finally, we can update with Lazarus' turn. Ooh. Look how fancy that is. Yeah. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah? Yeah. Still good? Yes. Yeah, I'm muted. Beautiful. Uh, okay. <laughs> why why so did everything go wrong? Because <laughs> of course it did. I am going to Misty Step. Here. Okay, yes, yes. Do I explode? No. Okay, I will occupy the same area as Lupescu because he's an ally. I will lay on hands 20 hit points on Carthia. Yay! Yay! Okay, okay. That's good. Stop That's being good. dead, you dumbass! I'm not <laughs> dead! I just hurt. Uh, hurt it, it, it slapped me, and then it scratched me, and then I fell. <laughs> <laughs> I need to read my abilities. Give me a fucking second. Uh, okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where is it? Uh, divine Sense. It's not that. Channel Divinity. That's a fucking action. <laughs> fucking hell. To, uh, lay on hands? No, no. Uh, that too, but Channel Divinity is... Also, you get, uh, 
nine temporary hit points. Thank you. <laughs> also, um, I want to I wanna note, Carthine, as you get up, you notice the claw marks across your body. Um, you notice how they dug into your cloak of protection, which magical nature of the cloak of protection managed to protect you. If anyone walks up without wearing magical armor, you have a feeling those claws will cut through more and probably permanently damage the armor to some degree. But yours oh. is fine. And okay. everyone, I think, has a cloak of protection in the main group, so you all should be fine as well. Everybody everyone. stay away. I don't know if you just saw what happened there, but uh, everybody <laughs> stay the fuck away from this thing. Carthian, Carthian, listen to me. This is important. You now have plus three to every saving throw. Excellent. That will come in handy. Stop dying, <laughs> please. <laughs> I used I used half of my lay on hands. <laughs> I mean, it, it was uh, a good idea. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm okay. Uh, and as my bonus action, I am going to. Uh, do I have any? Yeah, I I guess I I'm gonna whack it with the butt of my staff because All right. that's my only bonus action. You can do it. All right, hit it. Hit it, bitch. From a range. Hey! 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 So, do damage roll. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Define smite! <laughs> okay, fair, fair. I am <laughs> going to do a little smite. Just okay, a so. Little one. A little one? Hey, okay, that's okay. A, uh... All right. Yeah, you cut into it, and you notice that uh, the smite almost resonates hard as the back of the staff channels divine energy, but blasts uh, a chunk of it out from behind as the whole sort of reforms, meat, slime, and flesh all forming together. You... It looked good for a second. Anyways, um, <laughs> next up, we have... Uh, we have uh, Great Ooze's turn. Oh, look at that bad motherfucker. Look at that guy. Look at that ooze. Look, look at that ooze. Um, it's gonna pseudopod Tani. I'm sure it won't roll great. Um, that just hits Racy. Oh my um, god, honey. Uh, oh. holy shit. Oh my god. Did you roll okay. max damage? Uh, oh, no, it was close to max damage. Um, two damage, two. <laughs> Too off. Oh my right. god! You can hover over to see people's health, by the way. Yeah. Uh, oh, Tani she wasn't has the only... no hit points. Yeah, Carthian wasn't the only one who rolled like shit. Where, where did you find these people, Baron? <laughs> I didn't find them. <laughs> like they were literally just handed to me. Fuck! I could be in Leviara right now. <laughs> in oh. your dreams, buddy. Take it up with Baron. He suggested you. <laughs> Okay, so, um, it all was right. probably a joke. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so, uh, Tani's definitely in trouble. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's go to, uh, hey, Cortina, it's your turn. Oh, good. Hey, Christian, that's a dead body over there, right? Yes. Nah. You, nah. you, you, oh, I don't I'm know gonna, about that, buddy. I'm going to animate dead on it. Is okay. He dead? This, is, is he? this is the test. The is question is, is he? Yeah, is he dead I, I, I guess we'll find out. He's he's dead. Oh, good. <laughs> Wake up. His body <laughs> shifts back up. Tony, wait, but I didn't cast the. And then it shifts around. What does the body do, Cortina? It's gonna go help Tony get out of the way because she's getting murdered. <laughs> All right, it gets up, and then you remember it doesn't have a lower torso, so it almost shambles underneath the water, and it's going to attack. So, the okay. I can attack the ooze. You can attack the ooze. So let me uh, roll spore zombie here. Um, let's give it a slam. I hope that NPC was yeah. not important. <laughs> 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 oh, don't don't you worry. This is totally fine. This is totally fine. This is all okay. Hey, you know what? Based zombie. Um. <laughs> Based so, yeah. zombie. So the zombie goes in and does seven and uh the ooze is now distracted tani is shocked and somewhat horrified as um uh you uh, anything else you can do isn't that like a bonus action is that a bonus action uh, i don't know what is the spore zombie is that an action to do that 
Uh, no, that's not sport. That's not a spore zombie. That's a. Oh, so that's a real ass zombie. I use oh, animate dead. That oh. So oh, he's, that's a, he that's should a just be himself. Here. Yes. Yeah. Damn. He should have all his stats. Oh, he's just mine. Fucking nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Back. That's pretty good. So yeah, that should be my turn. I think. I don't think I can do anything else. I, I'll, yeah, I'll no, move out of this sure. water. I'll get out of here. Yeah, sure. You move out. Um, that's way more useful. Yes. I thought you were spore zombing, and it's like that's a that <laughs> sucks. But like an animate, that's worth it. That's worth the sacrifice. Yeah. Barrett, no, yeah, I'm, up, I'm, Barrett? I'm too far to spore. <laughs> what's up, Barrett? How you feeling, Barrett? <laughs> Barrett reloads his shotgun. Fucking magic. <laughs> <laughs> Nature uh, is healing. <laughs> Okay. He's a torso! Baird stops. Next up, flying sword. That's so funny! <laughs> Baird kind of stops, checks in both directions. If this and, motherfucker uh, runs, I will kill him. Oh no, he's not running. He's just, uh. <laughs> he just, uh. Tactical retreat! <laughs> he just kind of stands there. <laughs> he pulls out his knife. I can't fucking fight things that are immune to poison, goddammit! Wait, what am I supposed Barrett, to do? Why did you bring this? To I <laughs> told you it's all I could get. <laughs> Don't get what mad did at you me. Think was in the swamp. Holy fuck! <laughs> you literally did nothing, you piece of shit. <laughs> um, the flying sword moves over here, no problem, because it's flying. Hesitation it moves over, and it's defeat. gonna make an attack. Hesitation is defeat. Uh, it's gonna make a long sword attack. Let's stay. Let's see how this goes. Hey! No! A real Bro, number! The sword's the best fighter. Um, damn! Yeah, I, did, I did a thing. Yeah, so the sword kind of almost, you know a laureate, it kind of does that, but as a sword, and it just, just kind of lariat cuts. with an accent? La yeah, laureate! <laughs> laureate! Lariat. It's just a lariat. And it fucking, uh, kind of cuts straight through and makes a big gash in this thing. Barret! Your turn, round two. Oh god, I fucked up my character sheet. But um, is it all? Because I, I wanted this to be in my my list of abilities. Can I have my water walking uh, ring as one of oh, my yes. innovations? Okay. Yes. So um, because Barrett does not do magic in any capacity, and he is playing as an artificer, uh, I have to explain the bullshit he does <laughs> using technology yeah. instead of magic. There you Mm -hmm. So he puts on what would be uh, stat-wise a ring of water walking. Instead, you see him punch the side of his shoes and they inflate <laughs> like little wraps. <laughs> fucking Sora. Fucking. Yep. Uh, Barrett Clown is. Shoes, Barrett. Barrett is going. So that's uh, five so, for spray now, so that's five. You know. Yeah. So it's uh, five, uh, ten. Don't stop at a bomb. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, Barrett is going to, I guess, scurry uh, to... He's not going to go too far in, I think. He's just going to stand yeah. here then. Uh, you see him take the shot again uh, with his shotgun and whatnot. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm closer now. And... Oh. Shit. Who's are the big thing? What are we thinking? Uh, Tanny kind of stops. Um, Ooze, please. Who's it is? Uh, so I, I know will... which one I'd pick. <laughs> right, well, hang on. Uh, I'm going to shoot the ooze. I am going to go for the, the minus five again. So okay. what you see is what you get. Come on, Barry. Oh, yeah, oh, baby! Oh, yeah! Wow. Woo! Okay. You know who so I wish was eating that crit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Then it is uh, critical. So, boop. Uh, ooze takes 34 damage. <laughs> Okay. Is no more. <laughs> Ooze is fucking obliterated. All right. And? Oh. All right. Yeah. So. You have another yeah, one, yeah. right? Uh, can you switch targets? I don't think you could switch targets so quickly. Oh, you can't? Or maybe you can actually. I think you're, you got the sharp. Uh, yeah, you right? can You can split up yeah, your yeah. attacks. And you can split oh, up okay. your attacks. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no. I just yeah. got that wrong. Okay. No, no worries. Uh, minus five. Uh, obviously, I would go for the big thing now. <laughs> 
Barrett. Oh, oh no. Oh, the duality of man. I think what duality it is is he man. fired once and he's realizing, wait, I'm standing on water on inflatable shoes. So it like knocks him back. Yeah. And the second shot boom, just goes off again. He's just trying to keep yeah. his balance. Fuck, I should have just stayed yeah. on the land. Be careful, you almost hit me. I doubt that I've been missing a lot, kid. Uh, oh, God. Here. Um, And as a bonus action, what can Barrett do? Flip the uh, thing off. Yeah, I'd love to to do that. Unfortunately, I don't think that's much of an option. Draw and draw aggro. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think that's really all uh, Barrett can do. All right, that's my turn. All right, so um, now uh, oh, mushrooms turn. The strongest <laughs> player, little brother. <laughs> little brother is. Can he get the rest of the way to Barrett? Yes. He's gonna get the rest of the way to Barrett and mount him. <laughs> what? A little man climbs on top of you, Barrett. He holds on to your hat. What are you doing? What? And he's gonna and he's gonna point his little needle sword forward and go like he's saying charge. <laughs> I think you've forgotten what my role is. He points at the gun. <laughs> I don't he charge. He points at the monster. <laughs> Tell you what, I could probably just load you into the barrel. And just fire Do it, you might like it. <laughs> he considers it for a moment. It will kill you. And then he shakes his head. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Loads the shotgun. Oh god. Will brother do anything Penny. else? That's all he can do. He's oh, not gonna my. attack anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just a little guy. I mean, hey, he already did his mind sweeping. We're good. Yeah, what this more do you true. want from him? He found one bomb. <laughs> Garvey yeah, found two. Kinda... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he, and he died. <laughs> so, Tani's turn. Not that. Um, she, now that she's no longer in attack or opportunity range, she, well, before she moves, she's going to cast Bless on Barret. Uh, wait. Uh, <laughs> also, okay, she's going to cast it on Lupescu, uh, Lazarus, and Carthian. All right. So, you all benefit from the effects of Bless now. Hashtag Blessed. <clears throat> I'm gonna post it just to Wonderful. remind you guys. Um, it's plus two. Yeah. Yeah. It's a real uh, strong spell. Oh wait, I forgot to. Shit. There you go. Uh, bam. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> so to plus one d four to any um, attack or saving throw, and then she's gonna fucking back the hell up. She kind of looks at Hoggy for a moment before just shaking her head and running back and ducking by the tree. Yeah, magic's gross. Don't stay near the trees. <laughs> it couldn't now, get worse, could it? Why did you say that? Turn. Don't stay near the trees. Don't stay near the water. Don't stay near the everything. I don't know if you can tell. Why are, are we in the sick lands? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Abudun's going to make two hand crossbow shots. Uh, he has one in each hand, so he's going to take the first one. And then uh, he's going to take the second one. That hits. That one doesn't, but the first one does hit. Let's see. Normal. Okay, nine. <clears throat> also, so. I just realized... Mm -hmm. um, I I'm re I just reread my, uh, my disinfectant disc. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to roll it uh, as a um, doodly doo uh, bonus, bonus action, action on my action. turn. So I will okay. on my turn do bonus action heal. All right. Uh, did everyone... you use a bonus action on your turn already? I did because I'll let you. Okay, I would let you replace. But yeah, sure thing. Yeah. And that's good. So uh, uh, just a, a reminder that uh, frigging uh, temporary hit points don't stack, so you take the highest. Yep. So um, I think I think Carthian will benefit from the nine uh, because yes. he got slapped hard earlier. So <laughs> get nine temporary hit points there, cool cat. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop dying. Easy. So, uh, yeah, that uh, we pass over. Eleanor, um, you know what? Let me, let me pull oh, her up really quick. Yeah. She's I mean, got she's a, like a little copyright stamp next to her head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From copyright. My Flora. Yes. She made see. the pod. She's a great yeah. artist. You should commission her on Twitter. Yes. Yes. 
Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, Do it. She's gonna roll a nature check. Okay. Uh, she kind of like looks. She needs to be looking a bit, kind of seeing the pod, and she yells over, "Baird! Baird! Wh wh what? Get, get the pod! What the fuck do you mean, get the pod? No, it's, it's like a trap. Think of it like a trap." He stops. He thinks a bit, and once his turn comes, he's gonna do something. Oh, thank God he's Bobby's gonna do turn. something. <laughs> <laughs> throws a rock. You never know. <laughs> throws a rock at the pod. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Bogby's turn. Um, it's gonna turn over, and, uh, Barrett, it, uh, it looks at you, and you notice its form a little seems to shift a little bit for a second. Um, and then you notice that it almost seems to, uh, fire at you. An acid splash uh, emerges and goes straight towards you. I need you to roll a deck saving throw. Uh, attack it. of opportunity, Sentinel. That's true. Go for it. <clears throat> I still, I still roll, I presume. Yes, yes. Yep. Saving throw DC 13. 15? Doesn't hit. Shame. Shame, it's a shame. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait! Huh? Oh, you're blessed! Bless! 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 Hashtag blast, baby! Clutch! Clutch! <clears throat> so, um, you managed to, uh, successfully, um, yeah, you managed to successfully, Ten. uh, <laughs> Okay, ten. Nice. Suck blessfully. <laughs> managed to successfully um, <clears throat> not get hit by the acid splash. Uh, now I need to roll something really quick, uh, privately. Oh God, does that become great ooze? No, answer... no, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> Cease. Yes. Nope. Cease. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't finish the sentence, then you can't <laughs> Nothing use happens. it to hurt us. Yes. So, unfor uh, fortunately for it, it uh, doesn't get another melee-focused attack because it um, used it itself to... Can't move. Yeah, no, no, that's true, that's true, that's true. Um, okay, so, uh, next up, Lupescu. Um, now... And Carthian. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, well, they're not mounted right now, but uh, Lupescu, do you want Carthian to return to you? Lupescu is going to bat disengage. Okay. Uh, and just get right up out of the fuck zone. <laughs> All right. Uh, and yep. uh, yeah, that's his turn. Okay, sounds good. Carthian. He's, gonna, he's gonna growl a little. He doesn't like this. Carthian <laughs> uh, is going to uh, tumble for no reason. Behind, uh, <laughs> it's going to tumble for no roll. reason. Roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, gotta roll. Yeah, yeah, you gotta roll. How can you do that? I, I forgot how we do it. <laughs> anyway, shift, it doesn't shift, shift arrow keys. Shift arrow keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he rolling. <laughs> he rolling. Uh, I was trying to do that earlier. Anyway, and then, yeah, uh, and so uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot my light crossbow at it. Okay, like that's... using me as cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him. <clears throat> uh huh. Okay, no, give you're, it a not shot. Cover. Idea. you're not cover. You're not cover. You're you're a scary shield for my light crossbow. Um, that is correct. Uh, inventory. <clears throat> I wish the macros worked. Yeah, I'll here. try to figure that out for next time. But yeah, for now. Sick. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hits. Give it a shot. I will do this. Like crossbow. Oh, you can also just click on the previous time you used it because oh, it shows you're right. That. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, that is. All right. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Woo! Suck so uh, it. Let me guess. Is plus, one, plus, one D4, plus one D4. 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 Hashtag blast. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Bless, bless plus one D4 for from from. No, it's not a. It's not a. It's not attack damage. It's just rolls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was thinking. Oh, I also forgot. Um, really quick. Uh. Uh, Lazarus. Yes. Um, you need to, uh, you need to dodge. Wait, I mean, I put that down here. Uh, make me a constitution save. Why? Uh, because when you attacked it, attack of opportunity, it's disease icker activated again. Uh, oh, yeah, it's 10 I'm foot. 10 feet away. Oh, yeah. I suppose, yep, yeah. and it's got 10 feet range. Fun times. Con? There we go. Uh, yes, DC 15 con foot slow. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
until you're not. <laughs> Look at that. You're I'm... fine. There's one thing you can always expect a paladin to do. They will save. So, they will save. So, um, yep, you managed to... Whoops, not that one. You managed to successfully avoid getting any sort of nasty goodness. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. So, next up, uh, your turn, Laz. <clears throat> Fun times. Uh, okay, let me think. Let me look through my spells. Let me see what they do. Okay. Yeah, it's not worth using any of these right now. So I am going to. Uh, I'm in range, I assume. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm going to poke it with my halberd once. All right. <clears throat> that hits twice. Yes. That hits. All right, make me two uh, con saves here. You can do your damage 13, first, though, of course. Eleven, and as a bonus action, <laughs> <laughs> that was Seven. almost a twenty. Max Jesus. damage eight. All right, all so right. Let's see. That's in total uh, twenty-four plus eight. That's uh, thirty-two. 32, 32 damage, and I'm going to Divine Smite it. All right. Uh, I will use a well, actually, second first, level spell um, Actually, first, wait. I just realized you need to do something. Every hit, you need to be rolling me that con save. Okay. So make it after, do out of the first one, because I realized I'm letting you get away with something when, when this needs to be rolled every time. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's see. I'm going to click it again. Just roll con save. Uh, pa first one passes. Hits like normal. Second one. Happens real. Okay, nice you do it again. Game. And last one for the pull arm strike. <laughs> okay, that one fails. You're poisoned now. Damn. Okay, oh. so the, uh, what poison does. Uh, disadvantage on attack throws. Yep. Oh. And ability <clears throat> checks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, yeah, yeah. 24. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so, now for Smite. Uh, Smite just hits, though, right? So you're yeah. good. Uh, Give it a roll. I'm, I'm, I'm using a uh, third level spell slot. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, second level spell slot. <laughs> all right, all right. 25. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with that... You managed to finally at the end all of those good rolls, like six above twenties in a row. There, you go all in, hit it a bunch, and with a series of cuts, you manage to slice this thing down to pieces. It begins to fall and sludge down to the floor. As luckily, you manage to get away with this thing perishing. DPS, baby. <laughs> and and then a bog comes out of its body. <laughs> Now! No. Does that count as movement? <laughs> no. no. Let's see. Okay, it's gonna take its turn retroactively now. Um, oh. It will move up. All right. And it will, uh, it's gonna pseudopod you. Me? Yes. Okay. Let's see. That could be anything. No! And then, uh,. <laughs> Cortina, uh, your turn. Um, Christian. Yes? <laughs> what is the challenge rating of a man? Uh, this man, piece. I'm going to be nice to you. This man's stat sucks, so I'm just counting him as a zombie right now. One fourth. Okay. One fourth. Okay. Okay. I'm just checking. Um, I'm going to turn then, him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> into uh, one of these guys can a giant crab huh polymorph. oh wait polymorph okay okay that's God. such an interesting use yeah. of those abilities I, yeah I never would have thought of that yeah you, yeah you never would have thought to have Pokemon 
So, no, uh, luckily, it's the idea I have some gonna... stuff here. I would have thought to turn my zombies into Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. So here's this giant enemy crab. <laughs> and that giant enemy crab will be tasked with charging into battle and helping. <laughs> All I right, can't see right. anything, so I can't really see what the the battlefield is. I I all mean, right. like I literally, Brennan can't see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to go in and make a claw attack. I think uh, Brennan doesn't have vision on the battlefield. I yeah. see. I can just yeah, see yeah. like around me. Yeah. It's just. So it's just. You got shame. your character's blind sight. Yes. I'll yes. See there. Oh, oh my there go. god. Yeah. Move up so you can actually see your crab going for oh, the kill. Look at him. Look at him. Crab! What did Crab roll? Crab rolled a 22. I, I realized it was on private Christ. roll. Let's and then go. rolled a 5 damage. Go to Crab. Damage. It's gonna... Crab. Okay. And then, uh, because of that, Crab will take 1d8 damage due to the corrosive ooze. Crab takes 2 damage. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. This is a beetle fight. Anyways... Uh, next up, Baird, fashionably late. Um, Baird, let's see first. Can you? Uh, yeah, let's see. Wait, okay. Baird's gonna roll perception really fast. <laughs> okay. Um, Baird, kind of looking down kind of crouches low here and then finds a perfectly locates anything. So even if he fails to make this happen, he will not activate this on himself. He knows exactly where all the little pressure points are. And now he's going to make a thieves tool check. Um, bam. Oh okay. my God. He reaches down and tries to move this thing over and it barely starts to seize up and he just stops in action. Um, Sword. 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 <laughs> I love the little shadowy illustration. Yeah. 15? That hits. Uh, that it does two damage. <laughs> it does two damage and uh, does not get affected by the corrosion. And back up to the top. Barret, blow up some slimes again. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So. <laughs> the favorite enemy. Do it. Barrett, this is a weird situation. Barrett really can't shoot uh, in melee with his gun because mm. it would impose disadvantage. So what Barrett does instead is he is going to whip out a triple-barreled uh, flare gun and he is going to use Scorching Ray. <laughs> uh, yes, consume spell slot. All right, so let's see here. Uh, roll three rays, so... Uh, these are all, of course, in the one that's right in front of me. So, first attack. Nice. Uh, second. All right. And okay, then, both those hit. And then the third. Uh, probably not. Mm, let's see. Uh, no nope, hits. Boguses suck. They have no AC. Oh. So, yep. Actually, Excellent. yeah, yeah, no. Sure. So, okay, yeah, so all those hit. So I'll just roll all of them in one go, so uh, okay. what you see is what you get for all three hitting at once. All right. So 19, 19 damage. Fire damage. Yeah, so to you just, this Bagus? Yep, just all three points, like, <laughs> just this so, bright blast of orange. It blasts in there, and you notice the fire bolts seem, seem to, like, hit in this thing, and as it bounces into the slime, the slime does sizzle, but it does seem like the slime is somewhat resistant to this attack. Oh, fuck. So that's... All right, you end up doing nine damage to it. Oh, shit. That's not nearly as much as I had hoped for. Um, <sighs> little brother still pats you on the back. Little brother. Hey, little speaking brother. of him, I'm going to roll his needle attack. Yeah, I was going to say, it's time. <laughs> it's time. It was almost oh, so 20. Close, I saw so that. close. Um, it does, uh, he does one damage. <laughs> and the uh, needle is corroded. Yeah, the needle breaks. Oh. His little needle gets stuck and swallowed up inside of it. I have a pin full. Yeah, you do. It's gonna be fine. Uh, Tani. She's getting a little tired of this, so let's see what she can do. 
Um, she got slapped once by a news and almost died. Yeah, she got she fucking Yamcha cratered. Yeah. I guess I guess that was Carthian. <laughs> but Carthian Carthian at least got hit by the boss. <laughs> she got yes, hit yes. by an X and almost true. died. That is a Cyberman moment. Alright, so um uh is this within Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Alright, this should be within range. Uh yes. Oh wait, she's she's not that okay. She's going to uh, try to move around the side. It's one, two, three, twenty, five. Okay, she's she's sort of stuck in a spot where she can't really like get in to help anyone right now. So she's gonna try to make her way around to the areas that are already like you know open. She's gonna try to get some healing in once she can get there. But for now, it's just kind of cleaning up. Yeah. So Abby Dunn's tune turn. He uh, moves to the side. Two shots. Let's go, guy. Bam, bam. Both hit. Hey. Seven All and right. eight to this one, which um, brings it down. So seven, and then eight, and then that's all. <clears throat> Bringing it on, next turn. Eleanor. This time you might be able to do something, Eleanor. <laughs> Don't be mean to her. <laughs> okay. Okay. Darts. Darts. <laughs> darts, darts. Okay, both hit. Hey! Tink, 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 tink. Uh, that's five damage, and then uh, four damage. Okay. First dart ends up hitting that one, and she throws the second one at this one. And that one ends up getting put down even more. The Pescu. Uh, I'm going to say finally gets out of the water, probably. Oh, yeah. the Oh, I see what water is now. I understand. Yeah. I've been wondering what this outline was the entire time. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> As you charge into it. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. I didn't fully reveal at the start, so. All right, so he gets out. Uh, Carthian. Well, fuck! Then... I, want, I want out. I I, <laughs> I boot stomp my galoshes all the way over yeah. there. <laughs> Full action, move out, Lazarus. Uh, I am going to toss a hand axe at this slime. Sure, go for it. <clears throat> Don't miss and get me. I promise nothing. Uh, actually, I do need to move a little bit closer to throw it. This should be fine. Or is it? Yeah, I should be fine. <laughs> oh! For a second there. Okay, yeah, that hits. Eight. Congratulations. It's fucking dead. Oh! As in this man. moment, <laughs> you successfully deposed of the bog beast. As. Me too. <laughs> suddenly, the sound of the rain restores. You can hear chirping, buzzing insect noises as there's almost a bit of a silence there. Baird sees the fight's over and he's just going to kind of like move around, take the long way. He'll be right back. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <clears throat> Fuck me. <laughs> and then... <clears throat> and then as you all end up kind of trying to regroup really quick, Tani moves um, up to Cortina and it says, it wasn't... She kind of takes a moment, breathes, calms her emotions, and then she kind of goes over. Uh, how long's that crab there for? It's <clears throat> um, like a long time, right? I mean, until I don't want him to be a crab, but he's still my zombie. <laughs> yeah. So... Why can I... I'm suddenly able to see, like, every where I stepped. Oh, because, like, turn order still up. Yeah, yeah, hang on. I'll, uh, end combat. So, with that, Abedin kind of, uh, calls out again, and the flying sword kind of goes over and just kind of flies right into the sheath. It just sort of runs up, and, uh, Tani kind of, anyone need healing? Hang on. Oh, no, no, we're all good. If anyone she needs kind of healing, stops. it's you. 
here. She kind of moves over, and uh, I've got it, I've got it. She is going to cast a Prayer of Healing. That is a great fucking spell. You yes. can't see my face right now, Tawny, but... <sighs> Leviara. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of thinks back on... On um, Ellie, first and foremost. Yeah, I already missed East. You gain 13, she gains 11 back. Wonderful. <clears throat> Lazarus, while he was in, in the middle of the water, he retrieves uh, the disc, the disinfectant <clears throat> disc, gives it back to Barrett. Uh, thanks. There's like Eleanor's a small just... hesitation and he takes it. <laughs> yeah. Eleanor's kind of like, she kind of looks over and, uh, oh wait, uh, Cortina, I'm assuming you moved around carefully. I moved around mind. the mind swept mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> you get over there. Eleanor kind of looks over. What, what did you do to him? He was dead. I... Blessed Carbon has ascended. <clears throat> He's a crab. When he serves his purpose, he will return to the earth. He was... She kind of, like, seems to... Tani kind of speaks up to... I was attempting to resuscitate him. It wasn't long since he dies. I could have done it. However, she kind of thinks, I believe it was his time. This should suffice. At least he managed to assist us once. I pick up the giant crab. <laughs> a man kind of steps up from behind... That's fucking bullshit! You turned him to a zombie, then a crab? Like, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Fuck magic. Where were you? You kind of stopped. Uh, oh, me? Uh, I was moving around. I punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you flat into punch him. You punch him flat into the mud as he hits the ground. Abby didn't look surprised, but then kind of just shrugs it off. He's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I Asshole. Want you I want you to stand and fight. People died today. They died. And what did you do? Oh, you just walked around. If you're going to be here, I will drown you if you do that again. Slowly. <laughs> he may be more helpful drowned. I think so too. <laughs> at least then he would be at least then he would be following some orders. Okay, Cease this foolishness, Lazarus Calm. steps in. Do you not fuck know it. where you are? We are in the sicklands. Everything that is out here is out to get us, kill us, destroy us, maim us. If we start turning on each other now, in the beginning of our journey, we are dead. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to the fucking campsite near Toters yet. All right? But... While I do agree, we do need to point out, there's clearly a lack of communication in this crew. Tani, instead of just saying, you've got this, maybe elaborate further. She kind of presses her forehead a bit. Yes, I was a bit shocked, as all. No, I don't blame keep you. Calm her head on. She kind of pops off the rock. Eleanor is just kind of looking still. Camp should be a bit further west. We should probably Lazarus offers his hand to like get her yeah. out of the rock. <laughs> she kind of helps take a step down. If it's um, any consolation, it's not the only person that made some mistakes in here. I fucked up. I missed like three goddamn times. I know I'm a good <laughs> shot. Also, my dumbass made inflatable shoes with a shotgun. <clears throat> Fuck me. Also, Cortina, maybe don't turn people into crabs. <laughs> My what about after they're dead? Yeah. Uh, Carthian, I believe you said, what did you say after? I only heard Cortina. That was oh, almost useful. I said that was almost useful. Like, if we'd gotten that, like, a turn earlier, we'd have right. gotten some knowledge out of it. Right, but again, miscommunication. Tani clearly had some idea. <sighs> Bruin. Magic, but all the same. I will turn the next one into something else. That's not the problem. <laughs> Just, she kind of like, mm, yeah. Maybe just slow your roll a smidgen. Understood. Uh, <clears throat> she, so, 
Um, <clears throat> after a moment, there's sort of a silence, and then uh, Bear just like, "Well, oh, fuck, fine, let's just go. Come on, let's let's go. I don't want to sit here any longer." He kind of scrambles on the rock and takes a look, and then Elnor's like, "Yeah, I again, I'll lead the way." Um, she kind of turns back. Uh, Cortina? Yes. What happened to the things he was carrying? Oh, I'll turn him back into a zombie. <laughs> she kind of stops at the edge of the water, and yeah, you turn him back into a zombie, and in a sort of gruesome sight, the form almost reappears and oh. starts kind of crawling on the ground. Uh, let me, let me, let me... Okay, Eleanor, strong face, kind of stops, staring at the form, but not thinking of the man. She reaches down, reaches inside, and pulls out the expedition's compass. And then she holds it, checks it. It's good. She kind of steps past, choking Lazarus. back something, and then Lazarus holds steps it. in. Yeah, does uh, I have anything else that might be useful? Yes, you should have a few things. Um, mainly, he'll have an explorer's kit. Uh, he has all his papers I talked about, which details some things. Hmm. Um, if you spend uh, a long rest uh, reading the papers between doing other works, you can gain a little bonus to uh, your survival check. Or nature check, basically. Hmm. That'd be good. I've already got a pretty good nature check, actually. Yeah. After we... After we uh, strip the corpse of its valuable, <laughs> its valuables. Little brother, look how they strip the corpse of all of its valuables. <laughs> Little brother kind of clings onto the side. <laughs> Lazarus picks, uh, throws uh, a, a, almost a blanket over the corpse, picks it up off the water. It kind of moves a bit since it's still animated as you sort of pick it up, wrap it in, and it kind of shifts. A Lazarus bit behind you. shows no reaction to to that. Yeah. It was a good man. A man Shame kind of approaches true. behind you, uh, Carthian. If it means anything, he deserved the punch. <laughs> he deserved worse. You, you guys see Lazarus r reach into his backpack and br take out a shovel, a collapsible shovel. He came prepared. <laughs> Eleanor kind of stops. Not here. At the camp. You know what happens to bodies here. Yeah. I was going to bless him, but very well. Cortina uh, actually manages <laughs> to uh, take off the little blanket and then kind of, because he's ha he's an upper body, right? Yeah. Yes. Just kind of hoists him up onto her back like it's a piggyback ride and kind of wears <laughs> him around her shoulders. Yeah. He wraps his arms around, sort of clinging on as he kind of rides on your back along with um, your companion. And with that, Welcome well, to the Sicklands. Yeah. You all begin heading out as one down, not even set up yet. You made your first contact with the Sicklands. And as you go, many more days will be left here. Many more losses. And with that, I'm going to call our session to an end. Woo! We Woo! did it, baby! We did it! Uh, oh man! Yay! Oh man! Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to to dive further. Well, I can probably safely assume uh, Haji was not supposed to die die yet. That was probably supposed to be a tutorial. <laughs> it was, so it was in the air because I'll tell you what happened. Uh, Haji was a tutorial of what would happen to someone if they stayed, uh, if they went down, but was brutally maimed in some way. Uh, Revivify will revive him, but it does not return lost limbs. Like, that's basically in the rules. So, he would basically be stuck in camp as a torso at that point. Jesus! And... No, but he's Is that fine. much worse? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, yeah this, he's this fine. Was, this was more humane. I he, mean, he's a jellyfish. Actual, Those things can... The actual, uh, close. the conflict was twofold. First, you would see if you'd be able to save him on time before, like, a minute passed in combat. I rolled first to see how many rounds had passed before you showed up, and it was only one, so nothing had really happened yet. Yeah. Um, and the second one was, is it better to take this guy with us when he's just basically a liability at this point, 
and is also a torso and still needs constant medical aid. It was sort of a tour of the sick lands and stuff like that. But um, honestly, Cortina simplified the matter and made him more useful than he was in a kind of fucked up way, which is very dark. But I also I, I like I like that. That was that really set a tone for me, and I'm very excited to uh, play more sessions. How long does Anime yeah. Dead last for? It's like days, right? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it lasts. It, it yeah. lasts. So here's the way it, it works. Uh, after eight hours, the zombie just becomes a zombie, not controlled by anyone. So you need to cast it again oh, to to mm -hmm. reassert your control over it. Yeah. Otherwise, it will just be as an enemy zombie. But he'd be—he's yeah. an excellent thing to polymorph over and over again. So yes, <laughs> and because he's only half of a body, he can be worn like a backpack. Although, it, it will be said once you get to camp, Eleanor will be very insistent in having him buried. That's fair. Yeah. No, if you you need, to, you need to wear him like a backpack and like make, <laughs> make a Shiva fucking, fucking bad guys. <laughs> Yoda fucking Yoda backpack <laughs> jellyfish <laughs> man. If, if that is the plan, oh, Barrett goodness. will demand that you at least blow off the jaw so you can't be bitten by it. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> that is and, if it, and if it does happen that way, you can just bite him back and he'll turn back. Nobody understands that it works that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's nice. an excellent note to end on. Yeah. Christian, Bye, thank, you, thank you very much for this. Very excited to see where this yeah. goes. This was fun. Finally, we got it. We got it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're playing. We're playing so the game. We did uh, it. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.